If anyone wants to, then remember to put it in the chat as soon as you can. It's live, by the way. Yeah. Yep. All right. Great. Okay. Welcome, everyone. You can move over there. That'd be great. Thank you. Welcome, everyone, for another healing session. Today is October 15th, 2022. My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick, and we are healers. We're located in Phoenix, Arizona. And let me just bring up my information. I read this because I screw it up every time if I don't. For some reason, it's in recovery mode. Okay, I um, I really have a difficult time uh, speaking personally about Rick and I. I stumble on my words and I go blank suddenly and I'm just not comfortable singing our praises. And I'm not quite sure why, but I'm gonna try and talk about us. Uh, about six years ago, seven years ago, some very miraculous and highly spiritual events happened too in our lives. Um, while I was busy saying decrees at night, keeping or raising my vibration while asking my guides to find my joy, I had no idea that it was raising my husband's too while he was sleeping in the next room. My wish of finding my joy encompassed him without my knowing. He started to see orbs shortly after that, and then an angelic beings, ascended masters, and then the creator. The perfect white light came one afternoon and merged with his energy. It was after that that everything changed. Rick became a healer, and I started receiving downloaded, downloads of information. Our gifts have only increased since then, and as we continue to grow. Rick has all of the clairs, as do I. We share the same higher self and during this journey as well. It is our honor to be here today to assist you and your loved ones along with our esteemed associate, Philip Barrow. Thank you, Deb. I'll have to write one of them myself. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done one yet. But, uh, I started healing when I was five years old. Uh, I was healing a little goldfish and died for two days. And I brought it back to life and the hands glowed. Uh, I thought this was a bit normal because I'm a walking, so I've got memories from uh, other lifetimes. Uh, this glowing never, has never come back, which was a regret. Uh, when I was seven or eight, I used to connect to Earth's energies, trees and everything. And when I was about 12, I was being trained by the angelics to do my warrior work at night. Uh, and I'm just admitting someone. <laughs> uh, I thought it was real, but it wasn't. It was just to see if I've got the lack of the fear to actually do the warrior work. So that's why I, I, I know everything to do with the dark side which uh, you need when you're removing uh, energies that are very bad for people. Uh, me and Deb's been doing this for, and Rick has been doing it for two, three years now. Uh, I got credit to dealing 20 years ago, uh, and I've been healing all my life, basically. Uh, I also do uh, a bit of education for children about crystal therapy, and I'm also a martial arts coach. And I also do credit at healing on a Tuesday night. So I, I'll try and help as much, well, we'll try and help as much as we can. And uh, everything's new to these events. We learn as we learn as well. So uh, I hope you have a good time. Sure. And it's normally about 10 minutes. If you want to say anything during our healing, wait until we finished, wait until the cards, because I, I do offer an oracle card for everyone. Uh, just if you want any, to say anything, by all means. Okay, it's going to be busy tonight. Be very busy. Yeah, we'll try and do it. Yeah, I um, we have to leave about uh, three forty-five uh, Pacific time. I have an appointment for the dog, so um, hopefully this doesn't run that as long as that. It is now ten thirteen in the morning, so I don't expect it to run that. <laughs> yeah, right. We do have to leave. Um, all right. So uh, Lily is uh, our moderator. Uh, and I introduced her before we started recording, but um, she will make sure that we stay on task. If anything is very, very involved uh, and, and is gonna take a long time, we will refer you to book a session with us. Um, this is this free healing is for something that's not as involved, um, Bill, correct? Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are for just healing. It's If it's gonna be something that's personal and, and extremely involved and, um, uh, and I want to we'll, say we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we don't mind a bit of uh, we might give you a bit of past life experience because that could be where the pain is from, and we could give you all sorts. We don't know what will come. Yeah, come. but if it's going to be poltergeist and big, a big involvement, we're going to refer you to book, book a private session. And, and we do accept donations. So. Yes, we do <laughs> accept donations. Thank you. 
Lily. Lily? Can't hear you, Can't honey. Hear you. Is your mic on? No, you're you muted. You muted yourself. Muted? I muted. I yeah. muted it. <laughs> Is your volume up? This one. There now. you go. There you oh, go. Oh, good. Good side down. <laughs> Oh, wait, okay. but I, thought, I thought we'd have to send you your goal. Yeah, here. my heart is already pumping. Okay, now the first one we have as I come in, came in, is Jackie Hoover. Jackie. Yep, Jackie. I guess I need to remove the Hoover. That's my location. <laughs> I, <saw. laughs> well, we, I know that, but nobody yeah, else does. Yeah, I know that some other Zooms require that. So yeah, I just, anyway, hi guys. Hi. Uh, I, th I think Hoover said, so, so shit. <laughs> you think it's Jackie Hoover? Hoover. Say Hoover then. Well, over there, it's, it's their vacuum cleaner. <laughs> they call it a Hoover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in, in the UK. It is true. That is true. Yeah. And it can also be a verb to Hoover. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. I was just asking for if, any messages, please. Archangel Michael says you've had a lot of activity in your house. Have you noticed it this week? I did. <laughs> <laughs> But it's been it's been really really great. It's been a blessing to us. It's been great. And um, it's, spiritual activity he's talking about, not uh, human oh, activity. Is that why I have a bandaid on my finger? <laughs> <laughs> it felt good in my house, but then you know I, I did chop off the end of my finger. But you know, anyway, I survived it. You said you you're easily distracted. Yes, I used to call it squirreling, you know, where you jump from subject to subject. I now kangaroo from subject to subject. So, no, he says it, it um, you've had a lot of spiritual activity in your house, and he's surprised that you did not notice. Archangel Michael, I was cooking. <laughs> he's <laughs> laughing <laughs> and tending to people. <laughs> and that makes you happy. He's glad. Yes, it does. It was good. It was good. And I'm, I'm glad for the spiritual activity. Yes, thank you. And that's fantastic. The house feels good. Mm -hmm. I'm actually picking up with your guardian angels with you, actually, at the moment. Uh, have, you had, have you had a headache this week? No. Or was it my headache? And also a bad It was back. your headache. was it mine. It might be everyone on here. Someone might be giving me an headache. <laughs> uh, Maybe you're picking up my headache. I woke up with one. <laughs> But you can connect with your guardian angel. I think you can do some manifesting. And I have never done that with my guardian angel. I know my guide, but I don't know my guardian angel. Yeah, I've got a bit of shoulder pain. For me? Yeah, you've got a bit of energy uh, that's come over to me. Good energy, bad energy, just neutral energy. Hmm. I don't know. No pains. You haven't done. Nope. Got a couple of cards while we're. Okay. We have manifestation. Just tell you as well. Okay, stop. Oh, no, you haven't got manifestation. But you've got, because I said it, you've got focus and you've got power. Okay, yeah. both Check good. Your, focus is fo definitely important. Your focus is like intuition. So you, you get an intuition and uh, you've got the power of the creator. So listen to mm. your intuition. Okay, will do. Will do. You yeah, have um, a Joyce that's uh, one of your angels. <clears throat> Joyce? Joyce. 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 Oh, Joyce is one of my angels. I, I have to write it down or I'll lose it. I know. I know. And there's a Teresa. Okay. Louise and Stephen. Okay. They're around you right, right now. So. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Okay, Jim Michael said you were so happy this week and the energy in the house flowed that way. The whole house, it just flowed. How was Chopper this week? Happy. His ears are still bad, but he's happy. He's always, he's a happy boy, always. Did you notice the energy in the house was happy? He was happy. Oh, yeah. He loves company. He loves, loves, loves company. Just, yay. So, yeah. um, and he'll have some more shortly. So, um, that's great. And then he'll have some more in December. So, <laughs> that's great. So, Okay. Anything else? Anything I need to do or? No. Yeah, yeah, the house is quite clear. My house is quite quite clear? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. No, house is good. It's just I was a goofball, but house is good. Yeah, just feel the energy. Yeah, it feels good. Sleeping good. Okay, very good. Well, use, I... your, use your intuition. You're being given stuff. So, 
maybe write down when you're asleep or something like that. You know, if you wake up in the night, just write down and pad a paper. I need to do that. My, my intuition, Phil, often deals with, as I've told Deb and Rick, shopping. Go buy this here, go buy this there. Oh, they'll have that in stock. Just look. But I am listening to other things too, like more practical things. Um, I am listening. I'm trying. I'm learning. But you've done a lot. You've done, you've come a long way. And I, I keep life. working. I keep working on it. So, okay. Well, thank you all. I have hope, have a good session. I'll stay for a while, but you know, have a good session. And thank you. Thank you. Love to all. Okay. 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 Now the next one. I have written for myself because my husband uh, um, this morning he fell he fell ill. He has a back ache and shoulder pain, and this is his picture. Okay. He was sitting, but he went to bed. What's his first name again? Jurgen. Is he retired? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Um, because of the the vaccine. He don't want vaccinated, so he's. Uh, yeah. That, uh, uh, Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. The <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's just... I got I had a strike for three months. That's, that's why I'm a bit out of tea to you. And all, we didn't even give any advice. We really did not give any advice. Yeah, I can feel he's off the back pain. It's off the back pain, definitely. Uh, that should be clear a bit now because it's come on to me. Uh, yeah, it feels okay. Apart from that. There's something there, though, Phil. You see In the room. Something? No, in his no, in his back, his neck, and his back. I'm seeing um, a white box, a small. It's in the middle of the spine, between the neck and his. It actually goes like this, like it's it's. You can see where it's affecting him. It actually points. Mm -hmm. Where it's a where it's giving him pain. It's this little implant. Right, uh, Deb, I've sorted the other end of it. What? I've sorted the other side. So, wait, wait. Originally, I'm not sorted it. Okay. Okay. I've got Bobby. Just keep going. Just tracking what's going. It's the first time it ever showed me where it was giving him pain. It had arrows. Yeah, he said it's on his hip, shoulder and back. Yeah. And I was wondering because he went back to sleep and it's morning. Yeah. I've, I've uh, built up his aura field with Chi energy. His aura field was a bit weak. Linda, please mm -hmm. unmute Linda. Thank you. Yeah, so I built up his aura field. It's with chi and with prana energy, so it should be okay. Uh, I haven't dissolved it yet. But, uh, should we get rid of it then? Uh, definitely. Yeah. Just say stop or do in the car. Okay, stop. He's a by the way, angelic on the cards. Yeah. Um, I do this so we know what the job's like. So it's basically saying that he's having this healing, obviously, but he can do it connecting to nature uh -huh. okay. every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I thank him for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I sometimes think, yeah. The, the, the earring, uh, what's I going to say? Sorry, my yeah, brain went a bit there. <laughs> Has he got any, he should stop focusing on irrelevant problems, let the healing take place. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what the healing is. Sometimes your mind can wander and go on things that aren't relevant. So. Yeah, he don't really have any problem. Hmm? I, he don't actually have any problem, but I will tell him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sometimes dwelling on other stuff stops stops the healing, and actually uh, stress can actually uh, uh, feed it. Okay, I'll tell him. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Rick. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you, Phil. The next one will be Victoria for herself and Bobby. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, Deb, Rick, and Bell, and Lily. Hello. Um, you look well. Oh, I had a very interesting week. Um, the plumbing yes. went down, you know, pipes, everything goes wrong. And my dad went all crazy that day and like totally screaming, um, cursing, cussing the whole day. Vibrational dip that one day, still recovering from it. <laughs> still look well. He probably released it by, by the frustration. 
But it's been a crazy week this week. Yes, really yes. Been a crazy week. I cried two days straight. Well, you know, you probably needed it. Really, it was a lot of pressure. Yeah. But um, here, this is Bobby. I do him first. I couldn't get him to come these days. Like you know, just to sit around and just stare at the camera. Well, camera shy. He is. He used to not be like this. I can feel a bit of back, middle back pain, but I'm not sure if it's you or Bobby. <laughs> it's really not sure. Uh, um, probably him more. The plumber is actually here. I'm a, a release, whatever. Yeah, I don't see anything with Bobby. I don't, I don't see anything. I don't see anything bad, but I, I got some middle of me back. I, um, I've been trying to heal him on a really regular basis, if you know what I mean. I did a yeah, healing on him yesterday. You're doing a good job. Giving him a lot of um, chi and pretty much giving everyone a lot of chi, anyone who I'm healing. Not too much, though. Eh, well, yeah. I would have been probably higher vibe today if, if my dad didn't completely drain me and I was exhausted by him. Imagine being out of water for an entire week and three bro two brothers and my dad, the three men, could not come into consensus about getting a plumber. And we had to borrow water from the neighbor. <laughs> you, don't get a plumber. Go without water, but don't get a plumber. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I Men for you, I don't know. My family's like that. I do me own son. Uh Remember to release any stress from that. Yeah, this week was, um, I find that the it was a collective energy that I was also picking up. There were a lot of um, belief because of the 1111 portal coming. The divine female are purging, the male especially, because they're doing shadow work. So there's a lot of issues going on with the energies. And people oh, are know, feeling I it collectively. I do yeah, know you know. That. Yeah, so <laughs> I think that's probably one of the reasons why, because I, I couldn't imagine, like, I, I've had my dad chew me up many times before and I'm used to it, okay? And but for some reason, that day was just, like, from day to night. And so I actually got so exhausted, like, um, I actually had to take a nap. I was totally knocked out. And then I, you know, tear that night. And then the next day I was tearing because I was releasing, you know, the grief and all that stress and pressure that built up. But, you know, so crying once in a while is actually good for you, healthy. Yeah. So baby's okay. I'm okay. Um, yeah. That's good. And you want to see your cards? Sure. Stay still. Is this for baby or me? This one? You can choose. Mm, this is for baby first. Yeah, to each, I don't. Oh, okay, true. <laughs> I'll do there you go. Harmony and trust. That's a good card. That harmony angel saying let you, let the troubles go away, which they seem to be. Uh, just a bit that. Trust. Uh, just learn from past. Let past. Uh, you know your past problems, but you in uh, Bobby's that. Just learn from them. Yeah. Yeah. So. Trying to work that one out. So yeah, good cards. You, you basically harmony, your balance. You just got to make sure you, you've learned the attacks that you've had in the past. Yeah, I've. So, um, but you, you haven't got anything else. Yeah, that's good. Um, growing, growing. The lessons learned. But um, before getting on here, I I sent out the donations a little bit late. I'm sorry. Could have done it last month. Doesn't but, matter. It's okay. But, we do you this know, for for yeah. our job. Yeah, I love a video. Yeah. Well, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. And take care. Bye-bye. Hi, Victoria. The next one is Mitra. She is asking for a healing for herself and her family because uh, they are in a um, difficult situation. Uh, are you sure? What She's are like, I've got, I've got someone different here. That I've got Mitra. Corina. I have Mitra. The next one is Corina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Bye. first is Mitra. Oh, yeah, I'm next. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. By mine is... Oh, by no, mine. no, did you... Uh, Lily was before... Got on before you, uh, Phil. Yeah. Right. It's Mitra first. And then... What time it's, is that? It's just that I'm looking through the list It's here. the same, the same time. 702, 702, 702. Together with Victoria. <laughs> I'm looking at the chat and I come after Victoria according to the chat. Yeah, you know. Oh, no, it's... According to the chat, I see Corinna, Louise. And maybe um, oh. I by, by mine is so. Maybe it's because I'm far away. I don't know, but it is so. But I'm sure I was even before uh, Victoria. 
uh, because what, 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 I, sign, what time did you book in? Because uh, when I come when I come in, that's when uh, at five five fifty nine. When you come, I was here before you, before you. You already booked, so some of you have booked in like twice. And that's what's good you. That's fine. It's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do you. Yeah, it's okay. Well, you can see it. I have. No, it I can't. <laughs> I don't even have to show you because I have it here. Okay. Actually, I have I have someone before all of you. I just saw a direct message from me. That was a private don't message. Worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. When you not follow, then you can do it. <laughs> okay. Should we go on? Yeah. I have it here. When you like, I'll post it. Okay. Well, it might be. It might have been done before I got in. Can you, uh, can you yeah. add? Can you add a woman a name more M O R A G to the list because she sent me a private message and um, I am. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hi. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize we had to make it the request public, so I sent you the private message. But I've also added my name further down the list, so that's that's fine. Yeah, she sent it to me, and she was before everybody, <laughs> and I didn't see it. I apologize. Yeah, she said, and she was before everyone, oh, and I did not see it. Okay. Uh, and, at six, and after Louise, Alfredo's done a direct message to him. Okay. Okay, should we follow your uh, uh, list or my, my one? <laughs> I your, have list, your list is probably before mine. Yours yeah, probably my, I have Mitra here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is that Mitra? What did you just say? I'm waiting for Mitra. Okay, Mitra. You're muted, honey. Oh, sorry. Thank you for that. And um, as Philip knows, uh, I had just surgery in my hand, so I see my hand is painful. And um, but more than myself, I prefer to speak about my mom and my brother, who they are in a very difficult situation at the moment. So please uh, send some healing and a scan for them as well. My yeah, we, brother is we, we, in we the need room. To, we need to see an image of him to get a send it. Sorry? Picture. We need to see him. He, yeah, we have to see them. Mohammed Reza is my brother who is in, um, in Zoom now. So, yes, he is here. You can see him. Hello. Okay, but we're see, we're see, we're, let's do you right. right now. Can we do you first, please? Thank you. And if, I mean, there are a lot of people here. <laughs> So let's take care of you. Right. Where'd you go? Yes, of course. Okay. Can you feel that energy? I'm trying to release your stress. You've got too much stress. It's not doing you any good. Have you picked anything up there? But I, I was picking up that you want to go back on the tablets. Don't. Yeah? Don't. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. I will do that. Thank you. Yeah. I need to tell you that or I get the attention <laughs> for not telling you. I've released a lot of your stress. Did you feel that release? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Did Deb pick anything up? Well, I was picking up a headache, and then um, I was picking up that you were angry at somebody. Exactly. Very angry. <laughs> uh, Did I release the headache? <laughs> That's probably the stress. The problems that you've got with family set your intentions to help. You've got the ability to well got set intentions when we get angry we only we're the only one that it, it um we're only hurting ourselves take it from an expert right here we spin our wheels release it does it doesn't help you it doesn't help me it doesn't help any woman to get angry so we have to release it because not that we're not justified in being angry because you know a lot of things happen that make us angry <laughs> when we feel like somebody's unjust, some things that are unjust, but it, it still isn't. We lose our focus when we get angry. So, yeah, we have to, we have to let it go. Thank you. The way that we get our focus back. Thank you. Positive affirmations. That way it takes the illness away. It, it, it releases the illness and that makes us, gives us headaches, backache, stomach ache, you know? And yeah. So, I, I'm, I um, I put more healing in your heart because that's where the heart is. What has to heal right now is your heart. You have a lot of strengths. You have a lot to give. Pick your battles. Don't sweat the small stuff. 
Don't let all the little stuff bother you. You'll find out that it didn't and never mattered in the end. And Marley's snoring now. <laughs> the dog underneath my feet, she's snoring. That's the noise. Um, there are so many more important things to worry about than some of this little stuff. The other thing I'm getting is don't own your family problems because that's not going to do your health any good. And it's not going to help them. So you've got to have that free mind about it. Set your intention to help them. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And do you want, do you want some oracle cards? Uh, sorry, what did you say? Do you want two oracle cards for advice from the angels? Just yeah, say yeah. stop. Yeah, just say stop. <laughs> you didn't know I did this sort of thing, did you? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Tell them when to stop when you feel the right time for to stop shuffling. I'll shuffle all night. <laughs> Is it a stop, please? <laughs> <laughs> if I can. Yeah, just say stop. Uh, tell 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 him to stop shuffling when you when you want him to draw your cards. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I will stop. I'll just stop. Yeah, I've got stop. to see, right. Stop. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now I gave you a bit of advice before, and have you noticed some of the card actually came up? Wow, intentions and emerging, yeah? So emerging, you've got to realise you're awesome. You've got a true grip to express, yeah? That's the emerging. The intentions, to create your groom, aim for it. So you've got to set, you've got to find a way to actually make everything happen. So you've got to set intentions. So remember, you've got a beautiful gift. You're great inside, but you can do that. But in that word, Al, my advice came with the cards as well. So you got it double there. So, there you go. I was quite amazed with that. I'm quite happy when that happens. <laughs> yeah, okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now for the next one, I think Debbie, we are going to make uh, take more rug because my next one here is Corina. So we take more rug first. Okay. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I've have been waiting as well. I don't mind waiting. My name's further down the list anyway. Yeah. Yeah, either one. And then then you'll be after Karina then, okay? Right, thank you. Where's Karina? There she is. Okay. Karina, let's let's do you. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. I have to pick up my daughter really soon. Uh, okay. Okay, I, I need healing for me and my mom, but my mom needs the healing more, so I don't know what do you suggest. I have a picture of my mom. I posted it in the chat, but I have it on the phone too. The chat lets you post pictures? I was just kind of worried like, oh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Rina is asking for her thyroid and lower back exhaustion yeah. also. She, she, her mom did know that do not have a picture. Oh, okay. You can, um, put your mom's picture. We can do both of you. Go ahead. What do you suggest to do first? My mom really needs healing. Yeah, yeah, oh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do first, it doesn't matter. Okay, then maybe. Oh, first, so I can relax a little bit. Okay. Do you see anything specific, or do you need to give details? I don't need any details. Is this for you? Yeah. Are you having intestinal issues? Not sure. I see um, an inflammation in your intestines. In your stomach? I might have IBS, I don't know. <laughs> Deb, I'm getting somewhere in the side of the neck here. Can you just check that out? You... An implant? Yeah. Mm. In the back of my neck? It's here. Side. Yeah. It's a weird place. You don't yeah. feel anything in your neck? Mm, I don't feel on the side at all. I mean, it, would yeah. I... The other that? side. The other side. Would you actually see that or is it like invisible? The energy is coming into me, if you get what I mean, so I can feel it. And it's a very unusual place. It might be there just to make you ill, to make you lower your vibration. It's there. It's been there a while. That's what's affecting your um, your intestines and your stomach. Her, intest her intest intestines and her stomach are like inflamed. I mean, they're they're raw. Have you had like diarrhea and, and everything? You're I'm, like really upset. Yeah, like warning, I have to run, yeah. And uh, do you get like hot fevers now and again? Like an hot flush? Flush? You know, I'm feeling like an hot, like your old body's quite hot for not long, but a bit. Because that's what I'm getting off at the moment. I'm getting very hot. Do you get, do you get hot? Like, feel like you have a fever? Sometimes. 
yeah, I have hot flashes mainly because I have I feel too, yeah, especially when I get anxiety. <laughs> yeah, and also a bit of a day, not much. What's that? And a little bit of a headache, a headache. Uh, for a, but not much, just a bit. What's that mean is because we're connected, all your negative, all your energy that you don't need is coming over to me, and that's how I, I'm, I'm seeing it. If you know what I mean, well, that's clear now. Oh, the implant, I forgot that. Just to let you know what I actually do, I go into the implant. She's got a tracker. She's got a tracker. And yeah, then... I go into the implant and I actually sort out whoever for it What's what's that? Implants are like spiritual implants. It's like three. More than one. No, you got a tracker to track you down, but you've only got one implant. Normally, you have two, but you've only got one. Do you do a lot of spiritual stuff? If you do, you might have got rid of yourself. Spiritual stuff? What? Do you do spiritual stuff? Healing or anything like that? Do I do that? Yeah, do you do it? Because yeah, well, I have Reiki, but I haven't really prayed. Yeah, well, that sometimes can get rid of it, the odd one. But you've just got one. Well, normally, you have two or three, but that's good. I got it from giving Reiki? Like letting it in? You or? get rid of it from Reiki, but you've got to be careful with Reiki how you do that. Uh, you've got to be careful with the energy surrounding you when you do that. <sighs> you might feel the change by now. You feel different? Um. Not right now. So you you remove the tracker that was responsible for the inflammation in my bowels. The tracker keeps track of you so that they get yeah. they know where you are. Yeah. When yeah. we when we remove the when we remove the um, implant, they think that when they we remove that, they can still track you and then put another one in. But they won't be able to because we're going to take everything out. But first, he's going to find the location of where the um, implant goes. Yeah, I'm already there. I'm already, I'm already there. Yeah. Removed? Well, we're not going to remove it until the, we destroy the other end. Well, Phil does. Philip's aspects do. What that implant? The implant is an electronic device. It doesn't have to be electronic. It can be all sorts of devices. But it manipulates your energy. Yeah. It's like an AI. Yeah. Like, yeah, who put that? Like electrical? You know, or like um, beings? Or... Yes. From the dark side. <laughs> the light doesn't have to do it. But the light doesn't <laughs> have to do this type of thing. They, they, they don't need to use AI. You track me. I mean, how? Why? What is so special that I need a tracker? It's so they use your energy. Oh, the luge taking my luge. Yeah, um, but they, they actually change your energy, make you ill and stuff like that, deliberately so they can take the energy they want to feed on, basically. Like a feeding thing. That's why I'm so exhausted all the time. Yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. right. I just thought it's from being a single mom, you know, single mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not. The, you're not the only one. It's been. It's happened to many, many. It happened to us. Happened to us. I'm exhausted to the point where I feel like ending this. Like I don't want this no more. You know, I don't yeah. like. I don't. Yeah. Like being yeah, they're 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 sucking your energy right now, but uh, it, it'll be fine in a few minutes. Oh, it's my daughter sucking the energy out of me. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay, that would explain something. Mm -hmm. I've been to the point of um, just hanging on a thread. <laughs> How old is she? She'll be thirteen. Oh, that's oh. that's an age where they do. <laughs> that's a, tough that's age. a tough age. <laughs> Need some healing. She's, um, I don't know, very challenging. Yes. Need a lot of strength with her. That's why I'm homeschooling her right now to make things easier on us, to have more harmony and more quality time together. Yeah. But it puts another problem on me. You know, I don't let go of my job. Um, I had to choose between my job and my daughter. You might feel this. What I'm doing is I'm connecting to your eleventh chakra, which is your human blueprint, and I'm just trying to get you back to what you were. If you know what I mean, get your energies back. Thank you, because I need a complete reset. I feel like for a that, long. That, that's really what it is. It's a reset. Is is it? Reset? Yeah. What you do? You connect. It is a reset. You connect to the eleventh chakra. I use crystal sort of beings. Connect, connect to your eleventh chakra. It's your blueprint. Your human blueprint is there, it's and cool. they're trying to. Get your energies back to what you believe in. I've been feeling I need a complete reset of my body, mind, and soul, and I need a whole lot. Yes, I, I have a lot to take care of still. I need to be okay. I don't see myself leaving this planet anymore. So I gotta make the best of it. Gotta be positive though. 
I know it's difficult. Mm. Remember, if you lift your vibration, you can't touch it. Can you feel that? Mm, let me just get into it. Mm, I don't know. I feel my the, the my middle the middle of my back was hurting before. It seems to be better. It's my my um, back has been hurting. I've been working a lot physically. I've been working a lot and hard lately. <laughs> You, you did have something very, very weird in your bowels, and that is gone. And I've never seen that before, and I've got to work that one out later on. It's a weird. It was something very strange, something like like an Orion sort of uh, thing. That's gone. Thank you. It, it was very similar to a spiritual. Have you ever heard of a spiritual parasite? Have you ever heard of that? It's an invisible being that feeds off you. Yeah. You can't see. And that was in there, and it's, it's not. Earth like, if you get what I mean, it was very, very strange. I hope I don't have to run in the morning anymore. No, it's gone now. Yeah, it's gone. Very, it's like a black, gooey creature. And what about my thyroid? You get anything, Deb? Other than what I was getting now, um, you may feel like warm water going through your insides, the healing energy, like your intestines and your stomach. It kind of feels like warm water when it's the energy's going through you. I don't know if I can do anything right now. That's um, the energy that's coming from Rick is, is uh, creator's energy source. So it feels kind of like warm water. When, when I feel the energy, it, does, it feels like um, on the inside, not on the outside, inside. You said it's in my intestines right now? Yeah, said so that your intestines are all he healing. That's, that's why, because they were so red. When we were when we went through instant testings, that's when the just being was there. That's why we stopped there. I've never seen that before. It's a, a new one on me, that one. <laughs> so, was that? Hmm? Did you say last? Yeah, it's like a the parasite, the spiritual parasite was there. We were got clear in everything, mm -hmm. and we got stuck on there because like, what? What's this? <laughs> so we the yeah. scan, we, our scans didn't spot that. So it's very strange. Yeah. Yeah, we were really healing, huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> no, you should be okay. No, you're fine now. But the energy, yeah. that the healing energy that Phil and Rick and I put in stays with you for a week. But for anyone that's getting healing today, it's seven days. It, you know, bless your water and your food before you eat it. Like, give it love. And so that when it's going into your body, it's, it's continuing this. I've been too busy to, to even eat uh, at times, you know, I lost the weight. And then what about my style? Do I have to work about that? Because I'm, I don't like medical doctors and I don't want to go back ever if I don't really have to. So you have a thyroid issue? Mm -hmm. You want to see? Wow. Is that something that's hereditary? That's but also, I used to be hypothyroid. And then, when I before I had my daughter, actually before I was pregnant, I was like very hyper. I lost a lot of weight. I was very hyper. And then, when I had her, I was still hyper from always having hy hypothyroid. And then I went back to hypo, I guess, because I knew I needed to slow down. I needed to gain some weight. And then, you know, the stress of being a single mom without any support. I think, you know, I always think it's suppressing the feelings, the stress, because I was abandoned pregnant and I didn't work through that. I, somebody said I was traumatized. Um, so I might, of course, for a year and a half while I was pregnant and had my daughter, I was this kind of mom. I didn't cry. I haven't cried in a year and I don't cry, I don't cry a lot. It, it might be an art chakra blockage. Huh? It might be an art chakra blockage. I had that problem, but mine was a curse from my own times that I had to sort out. And you've got to go back in your timeline and query it, but I'm not sure if yours is in this line. I have to go so, back to No, you, you, you've got to nourish your art chakra. With, you could get a green crystal, actually, and just nourish it. Try and get your chakras back balanced. If, if, if you don't cry, it's sometimes we, it's, it's a blockage yeah, in your art chakra. And uh, trauma can do it, obviously. So, balance. Yeah. My my throat chakra, or my chakras. Yeah, and well, your heart chakra, younger. Yeah, if you can't cry, you've got you got a block into it. Yeah. I'm quite okay you now. Just in the beginning, it was I was blocking it. I guess. They ever treated you for um, Hashimoto's disease? Treated me. Medication. Doctors, doctors, have they ever talked to you about Hashimoto's disease? 
no, I got iodine um, pills like long time ago, but I, I don't, uh, I haven't uh, seen a doctor in a long time and I don't want to, so I don't, I don't okay. want to take pills. It, the other thing, the implant might have been affecting it as well. So. Another implant? No, the implant might have been affecting it as well. You mean the implant that you removed was affected? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was in your neck. It was in your neck. I saw yeah. it, but I was just wondering why you didn't didn't mention the thyroid earlier, only my bowel. Yeah. No, the, the implant was in your neck. Yeah, I understand. But you were leading it back to my bowel, so I didn't know. Yeah, no, the, the bowel was a parasite. So then my it side might be linked. It might be linked. We just don't know. They don't tell us. <laughs> we can't have a word with a parasite and say, why are you here? <laughs> So, so it's gone. They're both gone now. Yeah. Oh, there were two implants? No, one implant, one parasite. Oh, oh okay. and one and one tracking device in your leg. You had the full set. Tracking <laughs> <laughs> device, I want to write that down. Tracking device in my leg. In your leg. No yeah. way in my leg, because my leg's been hurting me. That's why it would have been. My muscle. That, that, that's gone as well. So that might it might it, it might be the tracker too. And I've been told the parasite might come with the implant by mistake. So if you get that, but I'm, not, I'm not 100. percent What was by mistake? The, the parasite might have come when they were putting the implant in. If you get that. So as they're putting it in, this might have come with them because this this in, this parasite was from Orion. This is an Orion in, uh, parasite, and it, it's it's not normally here. They're not normally. Here. You mean from the planet Orion? Constellation, yes. Orion parasite, yeah. an implant. Okay, so I I should be feeling better soon, like more energy. Definitely. I had a feeling something is eating. It's, it's you know feeding off me because I'm. You gotta be positive energy. The other thing I wanted to say to everyone: if you ever eat meat, bless your meat. Think of the animal that you ate. Thank the animal. Take the trauma, send it to source, send it love, and that meat will taste better, and your vibration will be better, and you're actually blessing an animal that wouldn't normally get blessed. I feel very blessed with food abundance. That's the one abundance I have right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome. Then hopefully. Don't, and don't worry as much. Yeah, no I stress. Healing. I sent, I sent healing to your thyroid. Thank you. Let, let me know. Um, let us know how you're feeling. It's been affecting my like. Um, you know, it's tight. Yeah. It's, and, uh, it, it, yeah. It, it'll take 24 hours before you feel any different. Um, but let us know how you do with this. Because I know when you see a doctor, they want to do snip snip. You know. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, let's see. Let's see the photo of your mom because we've got to move on. Yeah. 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 Just say stop quickly. I'll give you two cards while you get a photograph of you. You have to put it on an angle. Tell him stop when you want him to stop for your cards. For my cards first? Okay. Hold on. Quick. quick. Stop. Ah, yes, definitely. So, to get you on track, it's uh, surrender and release. So, if you have got a trauma or anything like that, you've got to surrender everything. Don't have any anger. Don't have any pain. Stop hanging on your worries. Let it all go. Yeah? And it looks like you might have someone coming into your life. What's that? A soul connection coming into your life. What does that mean? Like a soulmate, but a soul connection. Like you might, you might meet someone who's connected to you, your soul, that will help you. Like a friend or like or something like Yeah, a friend. Okay, so I'm going to... But, but, a sim, it's sim, but, a sim, but it helps you, basically, like a soulmate. A what? A soulmate that will help you. A soulmate who will help you. Let me interpret for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Me, me, thing, me thing was dead down. I have an myself. I have a little trouble with the accents. And, um, so, and is there somebody who's not in my life yet? I Correct. Don't, that's, that's what it's saying, but I, I expect not to be in your life. It might be in your life, but not in a soulmate relationship or anything like that. But there is someone coming into your life that will help you. Can you feel whether it's a male or female energy? Uh, the card don't tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, any ideas, Deb? No. Uh, no idea. I, feel I, would, I would say it's a male. I would, yeah. It's a soulmate, so. I don't have much. Uh, I have a few selected. I don't. I'm pretty much on my own. I yeah, have well, you, might, you might not be. Sure. I'm, I'm managing by myself. That's why I'm, you know, exhausted. Yeah. 
<laughs> do you want to sh- show us your mum then? Do you? My mum? Um, just got to go on an angle. I know, I know. A bit more of an angle, it's coming. There it is. That's it. I can't see her face. I downloaded a picture in the chat of her. It was a different picture. We can't see her face, it's too light. Hold on, yeah. I. They, they, I don't know what it would share, I don't know if you... But can... what you could do is put it into your, what you're looking at. Is it a computer or a laptop and then just share the image, share screen? I can't put it on my computer. I mean, I did put one on my computer, I put it in the chat. It's farther up to like download it. No, it, it won't go in chat, you can just share it. See, there's a green share button. Well, I don't have one on my computer. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bottom, bottom. Hold on, I got one, yeah, yeah. Okay, share screen. Yes. Here, okay, got it, got it. There you go. <laughs> Can you see her? Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Of her, yeah, that's a re- re- very recent as well. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, it could be a baby picture. All we need is her energy. Okay. Her, you know, her eyes and her face. That's all we need. Mm-hmm. What's her name? Helga. Inga. Helga. H E L G A. Oh, Hel- oh Helga. Helga. What's that she up? Because it feels like she, she hasn't got her power. It's as well that she's not got her energy, if you get what I mean. It's lacking in uh, empathy, is it? Is, that the word? is she very sick? Um, very sick. Not, I mean, what is sickness? Physically disabled. And sick, yeah, she has a lot of shit, oh, excuse my language, going on. I mean, and, and then she goes to the doctor and each time they give her another pill for, you know, for the side effects and then she needs another one for that side effect and now they put her on very strong pain medication like opiate and stuff and she doesn't like it i, I can tell she's con- confused because that stuff makes her mind um it's as though she's lost her empathy she hasn't got a power do you know what i mean she's done on like a down uh, energy wise you get that yeah she's yeah it's like she's given up yeah that's what i'm saying she really needs help because she's done nothing but good her whole life she's always sacrificed everything Never did anything for herself. Always giving, giving, giving. And now she's got physical issues. She can't work. Yeah, I'm not a doctor, but sometimes doctors just give them all the tablets and think that that's that's it. But they don't look the cure, do they? They just give them the tablets. Translation, please. <laughs> yeah, they just give loads of tablets. And, yeah, go now. Here's another one. Here's a... Templates? Yeah, tablets. They just like to give tablets out. The willy nilly. Medicines, Corinna. Can I stop sharing? Yeah. Did your mother get the lollipop? No. He, her and my dad are the only ones in my family, literally, that, and, and me and my daughter, that didn't. But she's around somebody who did get the first JJ. He was coerced by his ex girlfriend, but he's not doing anymore. We don't like the sugar too much. That's good. It reminds me of my mother. My mother ended up in a wheelchair. Yeah, she's in. The problem is she's in constant pain. That's why we like. Well, she's in constant pain because she's sitting in a wheelchair. Because she's in pain, she tries to walk, not paralyzed. Right. She needs hip replacement, and they don't give her a hip replacement because they say she can't have one. Right. Well, so heart's too weak. That's what was wrong with my mother. Yeah. So what do I do? Because I I have so much on my plate myself. I can't even work with healing energies. I'm to, I'm out. Of, I'm trying to just make it every day. You were, you might not be now. Positive uh, mantras, you're okay now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Po- positive mantras, you're okay now. Don't dwell on the past, go forward. Everything's yes. positive. Uh, I'm trying to fix, is it the it? That's what I'm trying to fix the it. She needs something in her, some, she needs cartilage in her knees. She's got inflammation. Uh, you can grow cartilage spiritually, okay? You can try that if you want. If you is she awake? Any, spiritually awake? awake? Is your mother? What do you mean, awake physically or? Spiritually, spiritually. Um, she's not like, I tell her a lot and she's open to, to listen to it. She knows better than to, you know, suck on lollipops. <laughs> so she she's open to what I'm saying, but she's not like on the internet, she's old. So she, you don't have to worry about your mother, she's an angelic. Yeah, she's a saint, my ex-husband. Even no, she, she is an angel, she'll go back to being an angel. That's why I said she reminds me of my mother. Why is she? Why is she? And my mother, my mother's next to me because she's my angel now. She's my guardian angel. I didn't know she was an angel before she died. She died. My mother died in 2004. So my I, mom- had, I had no idea. I was just waking up then. 
happened. So I had no idea my mother was an angel. Who are you getting right now that my mom is like an incarnated angel, you mean? She is an angelic. She came, she volunteered to come here. Yeah. We all volunteered. I don't like her suffering because she's an angel. She's done nothing but good for everybody. But she is an angel and that's her real, for real, she's an angel. She's always been an angel. She had, um, before she came here, she was an angel. She had so a, when she when she ends this journey, she'll go back to being an angel. She had a past life regression once where she was standing in front of a lot of people with like a rope and putting up her arms and talking to a lot of people, like saint, you know, like Jesus or something. And I had I did a past life regression with her, and she was seeing the same thing, like a prophet. Yeah, she's an angel. So that's, that's exactly right. She's because she's an angel. What can I do for her? How can I ease her pain? How can I Okay, make so let us do that. Because I've, I've just, we're healers. I've, I've just done a lot of work on her to so see the difference. Uh, she needs to get power back and she needs to try and walk maybe. And try and get rid of this pain. So I've done what I, I've done what I can now. Just to give you an idea, I was healing someone who's not walked for eight months and within the next day she's walking. And I'm and telling she, was, she was in the 80s, so it's all, always possible. You just gotta believe it's possible. Everything is. Yeah. So I've tried to repair the. Okay. So what is it? Why, why she can? Um, why she has that issue? I mean. It, I've, I've, I've grown some cartridge back. Yeah. So you you gotta grow a cartridge back. It's wear and tear. And you just gotta grow it back. Yeah. Grow it back. Okay. So back with energy. Energy can grow anything back. Are you doing that right now? I, I was doing that before, that's why I wasn't talking. <laughs> yeah, everything's possible. Look, we all came here with a tool chest, and it's right in here. Everything yeah. we need. Ah, uh, sure. I'm trying to tell her to, that she can heal and all that. I mean, and you now then I talked to her earlier and asked for permission to get healing, and then but she's supposed to get a shower downstairs because she can't walk upstairs. And she's like, yeah, but if I have to tell myself I'm going to be okay, the, the doctors, the health insurance, they're coming to put in the shower. And she has to tell them that she's doing bad so she can get the shower. And I'm like, okay, how can she manage that at the same time? Because she has to tell them how bad she's doing so she gets the shower downstairs because she can't walk upstairs anymore. That's fine. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> it's easier then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Let, let let her tell them that she's doing badly, but that's all right. <laughs> so so she's gonna. Um... That's the government. <laughs> that's one thing. The government lies to you all the time. They had her, they had her to go through all that stress all these years. They better pay. So do you want to stop? For, yeah. Do you want to say stop for her? Your, your mother, your mother has all these gifts, and so do you. All of us do. No. Yeah, no we can heal ourselves. Everybody can heal themselves. Okay, the problem is with her, she's in so much pain every day when she's trying to walk. She wants to go own that. You're not helping her by owning and worrying about her. Send her healing. Yeah. Be positive. Lift your vibration. Yeah? But that's what I'm trying to tell her to talk to herself. But with, with all that pain, she can't think like that. You know, mm. not for her to see herself walking again when she's in constant pain. Yeah. See, see how she feels in the morning. Okay. Right. You can tell her that she's been healed. That you you don't, don't you, try you show her picture to healers, and yeah. that that we just healing on her. But it's don't up manifest. to her. To, it's don't. up to her to ups, accept this. It's her journey, not yours. So stop trying to take her journey away from her. It's her experiences. That's why she came here to have an experience. Okay. So can I tell, I tell her that um, that, and then also can she take or get off her water that medication that it makes her confused i can tell i'm like what's going on with mom she's never been confused in her head that is, that is also up to her you yeah, have to we, let her make we, those we, decisions yeah we're not doctors we can't tell you one way or the other uh, the other thing is stop stop if you keep on worrying that she's got pain you're getting it back you're manifesting that pain back to her so you gotta yeah. be you gotta be thinking positive thoughts to her mantras and everything you want to say stop and i'll give you two cards okay. for her for her and this is what has happened with the either this is the guide to the angelic and these are always quite i'm amazed how accurate they are so it's divine guidance and healing so the healing stop focusing on the problems so let the healing be accepted 
yeah? So you're focusing on the worry of the pain and everything. That's not going to help it heal. You've got to think about the healing yourself. Divine guidance, your prayers are being answered by universal law. So, brilliant cards, huh? She hasn't got any implants, by the way. She has implants? She hasn't got any. She doesn't have any? Okay. Angels, they can't, they can't do that to angels. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, we can, but very difficult. It's more difficult. I got one small thing. If she can get out and put her feet in the grass, the ground, and feel some sunshine on her face, that might help a lot. That's good. Yeah, that's excellent. Might a be in Germany right now. But I'll suggest, okay, and then also, um, not just the walking, she, her, all her other health issues, the diabetes. They say it's a sadness, it's a bit of sadness. That's, that's really bad too, because she's taking those, all this medication for her diabetes, and then she's dizzy in her head, and then she's... Well, Corinna, some of, some of these things she asked to experience too, so you have to respect that. There are some things she, you know, we all chose certain experiences in this life. You know, diabetes was one of hers. Okay, so with the walking, that's, that's the most part, so she needs to be independent again and be able to walk. Yes. Pretty much on the cartilage with the energy, on the cartilage and the inflammation too. Mm -hmm. Because the inflammation is what it makes the pain. Oh, well, the, the hips and the cartilage, we did healing on that, so that's up to her to accept that. But the diabetes, that's something she wanted to experience, so. Okay, well. <laughs> So where does that inflammation come from, please? The inflammation in her body. Her whole body isn't inflamed. She's sitting still. You said her whole body isn't inflamed or is... Her whole body isn't. It's, it's just parts of her body. Right. It's from sitting. So any suggestions she should do? Like keep, try to move? I, yeah, that arthritis. At, arthritis, I think she said, called it. Yeah, we all get it. So should she probably move anyway? I, I would suggest see how she is in the morning, yeah? yeah? And see what she can do. You're giving us a long list and I don't actually know. I know we've given healing in most, all the, all the old bodies have healing, but it, it takes a little time to settle. The other thing is we can't tell her not to have this drug, that drug. The drugs are probably not helping, but it's up to her decision. Exactly right. Mm. She's on statins. That those that's it, that'll cause inflammation. What's that? Statin? Uh, statin is like a, a certain blood pressure pills, and um, there it's just certain medications that that are prescribed. I, we don't know all the medications she's on. All right, Karina, we got to move on. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna call her right now yeah. and pick up my kid. Okay, the next one. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Debbie. Bye, Karina. It's Hi, thank you so much. Bye. Take care. I'm going to ask Debbie because Mitra included her brother and whole family. Should we do that? Because Mitra is, is done. Let's let's move three. on and if we have time at the end, we'll come back. Um, okay. That no, now is, 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 is it Morag? Yeah, Morag. Yes. Okay. Hi. 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 I'm struggling to get over. Well, I'm almost over a chest infection, but it's left me with a lot of tiredness and uh, I feel kind of blocked as well. So. I'm healing for that and uh, a scan the first time. Thanks for your patience. And I'm oh, sorry oh. I didn't see your your comment right away. That's okay. You said you had respiratory? Sorry, my cat did a pest. Um, yeah, it started off as a cold kind of thing and then went into my chest and there's a deep cough. I, I've had steroids and antibiotics and I'm over the worst of it, but I feel as if there's something still there. You have sinus. I see a lot of sinus issues. Yeah, a lot bit at the moment, yeah. <laughs> oh, they, is that you? <laughs> he's an attention seeker, he's spoiled going. We have four of those. <laughs> a dog and two birds. So okay. we have the zoo. We have a zoo here. That would be wonderful. <laughs> I had two, but one at my, my little female cat died last year. Do you have a bad back, by the way? I've picking, got, I'm picking up a bad back. I've got two slip discs in the bottom of my back. Mm -hmm. they, don't quite, get... they don't give you much, but they're painful for me. <laughs> so I'll try and fix them. Yeah, they don't give me an awful lot of pain, just a weakness in my legs. Phil, Phil, what does it mean when I see insects inside the sinus? Does that mean it's parasitic? I don't know. I'm, I don't I'm, just doing, I'm, I'm doing the back. <laughs> what do you do spiritually? I don't. Do you do anything spiritually? 
I'm a Reiki master. Okay. I'm a Reiki master of the medium. Because okay. I'm picking up, you're getting some spiritual growth coming. I'm getting that. I don't say that often, very often, no. Because something just went into you that was like a download. I think you, 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 you're going to change, and you're spiritually you're going to be lifted. Uh, probably after these things in your head. Where are they again in you? Right. Where, where are they? I've got a locate. They're cockroaches. Do you want to keep them? <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll have to shout, Philip. I can't hear you very well. Yeah. Do you want to keep them? What, it's a joke. It, yeah, it's a joke. They're, they're cockroaches. <laughs> in, there are cockroaches in your sinus. Is that right? How do you get that? Spiritual. Spiritual. spiritual ones. They're like big yeah, ones. Like. They're, they're spiritual ones. And I said, I don't know. They might, they, what does it you, mean when she has cockroaches in yeah, her sinus? If you run down and your aura is quite weak, yeah. it can get through your aura field. Aura field, sorry. So I'll give you some of my chi energy if you can figure that. And I'll get rid of that. In fact, I've got a little friend that uh, I bring along, and he'll, he'll probably yeah, he'll <laughs> he'll get rid of them. I have a team behind me, a spiritual team, and one of them that we create eats that sort of stuff. If you get what I mean? Eating plants and, and parasites. You might feel this now. I think your cat wants some energy. <laughs> oh, he does this every single time. I'm, I'm meditating or in Zoom, whatever. That's much better. Did you feel any change? I felt a change to my breathing, actually. I wanted to take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah. You've got energy going through now into your respiratory and up through your sinus. You've got some going down through your spine, too. I see some issues with your... You've got some uh, discs problem. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. I've got two slip discs in the bottom of my back. Yeah, that, your whole back slid up now. You may feel a, a hot heat going down your back all the way down it'll go across your shoulders and down your arms and down your legs across your hips and down your leg do you feel some grief in your body in your chest something yeah. you're grieving yeah well, in in my reality take some time to go sit with that maybe after this and just grieve just cry feel whatever and just let that energy that tightness go i can just feel it huge in your chest that's um i lost my husband five years ago so it was last month was the anniversary, so yeah, that energy that was all still around, yeah. Yeah, old energies to move. Go, go ahead, Phil. But Paul, I, strangely, I, I was being told about frequency music to take it out. So yeah, it balances with that. Anything to move the energy, like feel it, just feel it. Like 90 seconds is all you have to feel, a really strong emotion, and then the bubble is burst and then new stuff comes. So. Use music, use whatever makes you feel joy. Thank you. Has he come to visit you yet? Um, yeah, he came very quickly. Yeah. Your husband visits you though? Yeah, um, I'm not always aware of him being around, but I know he is around a lot. But he, he, he spoke to me like two days after the funeral. But it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, grief's a funny thing, you know. You learn to live with it, you learn to live around about it. Yeah, it's very hard to go away. I lost my wife eight years ago. I had to bring up the kids. And uh, the doctor said six hours she's got. I got eight months. I didn't know what they said. But she chose, uh, she had cancer, she chose Dima. And I told her not to, but it's her choice. People's choice, I know. I had a lady say to me, seven weeks in, how are you enjoying your newfound freedom? <laughs> seven weeks after they passed. Is she still alive? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I don't know. I've moved out that area now. Do you want two cards then? Just say stop. Stop. Do you know what? These, we always mash up them a lot. We always get similar cards sometimes. And healing, so you got to just let go of your troubles, like before. So that focus on problems, so healing is accepted. Divine guidance. Uh, divine guidance, you're being guided follow your intuition but I do think you've got some spiritual growth if you want to go that way and I do think it's to do with frequency and so a bit of meditation might help you. The healing is kind of interesting because I'm trying to get back to healing more yeah. for others. So, yeah. Yeah, you could uh, do the meditation to do with your heart chakra which is I think 600 hertz I'm not 100 percent 500 600 hertz music and the frequency would help but yeah it's always good, getting, you know, you can have a break and get back into it. And it's amazing how can even be different and get back into it.
Yeah, just just through this chest infection, I felt kind of psychic as a brick. Oh. So it would be nice to get to start sensing again, to start feeling properly again. Okay, well, thanks very much. Guys, Thank that you. was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So the next one in my list is Louise. For better Hi. sleep. She cannot sleep. Good. Hi, Louise. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good, good. Yeah, I'm just having bother with all sorts of stuff, uh, the the ascension and all the other spiritual things that happen in my life. Just know I'm all that into it. Why? It's so overwhelming at times because my my gifts have ramped up recently. Oh, you're blocking them, and then you think uh, you are it, and then you block them. No, well, I'm I'm being. I didn't used to be a medium that would get messages randomly about people because. Uh, I was, suppose I was kind of blocked then, but since I've been working on my chakras, I've been getting random messages for people like on the beach. Got talking to them, and then I've said, "Oh, out of the blue, I've said I'm a medium, which I never do." And then I've given them their message, and it's been like, "Whoa!" But I never used to be like that. That's good. It's good to be like I asked Louise how you feel about those new gifts. You said that it's new. Uh, how do you feel about them in your body? Um, I grand fine. Um, I just know that the the, the veil's thinning and that pe gifted people are getting more gifted. But it's quite overwhelming at times. Um, like just ge in general, I've, like I'm qu quite high anxiety and stuff. Um, I don't know what's coming from. Whether it's I try to dampen it down. Um, because I feel that I get a lot of stuff. And I don't want to be bothered, you know what I mean? I know I can turn it off, but I don't know. I just, I don't understand if I am getting that or if it's where it's coming from, the anxiety, or if I've got any attachments or something, I don't know. But it's, I'm not sleeping. I think it's menopausal maybe as well, so, like, it's pretty nuts. Uh, I, I was going to actually say, yeah, but you've got to switch on enough, but because if you're a medium, you'll get everyone, all the spirit world trying to give you these messages all the time, and it can be quite stressful, and anxiety, definitely. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Or you could just ignore it and pretend you don't know. Uh, I just have to go away, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I knew a 14 year old and she used to be on the toilet and used to have a queue of spirits giving her messages. And she, uh, really, she really got annoyed. I had that in the shower once. I was like, no, you're not coming in. Uh, <laughs> it, it's creating boundaries and maybe just set a time of the day that you're willing to accept it and make them come in so that it makes you have right. some choice. Right. These messages, do you get anxiety from them? No, no. I, uh, yeah, well, premonitions I do. I like that. So I used to have premonitions, and they were always horrible. So I asked to stop being told about things like that, and they had stopped. But I, I, I have had a couple recently. And I'm like, oh god, why am I getting this again? I, yeah, I asked it, for it, not. Yeah, it's not the November one, is it? <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> the messages shouldn't give you anxiety. You should never feel anxiety from anything. I don't know where it's coming from. Then. I don't know where it's coming from. Then I think I think you're only in the world. I when when I give messages from spirit to another person, it's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. It's an incredible feeling. I love it. I could live on that feeling. I don't know where the anxiety is coming from. Yeah, it it could be knowing that something's going to happen, but can you yeah. Okay. Well, that's very, yeah, I'm very, very, I'm really, really empathic. Yeah. And my friend actually said that, who's in, in the chat, she actually said that as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Honestly. Well, I'm, I'm an empath as well, but it doesn't give me anxiety anymore, now that I know what to do. I get premonitions and I, I, I don't, I, I maybe don't handle my empathy very well, I don't know. Have you ever thought of doing more? What, doing what more? Like doing a Zoom event. Have you ever thought about that? No, never thought of that, Phil. You've got a gift, In what? you might as well share it. Yeah. Hi. You know, it's funny because I had some, one of my friends asked me, oh, in, in return of a, a gift that she gave me, she wanted something she'd made me, she asked for me to give her a reading, and I said, oh, I've not done this for ages, God. Oh, I felt kind of on the spot. Well, I didn't need to because it just came flooding out. <laughs> I don't lose it. No, no. I know it's a gift, but um, yeah, maybe I should start doing it more. 
you ground yourself before you receive these messages? I don't even know that I'm getting them. This is like um, one of them was on the beach last week. This gentleman just walked over me as if he knew me. I, I actually think about it. I think he must have seen the light on. Walked over him as if he knew me. Not talking to me about his his guide dog, PTSD dog. I said a medium which I never do. So he must have known there was a message for him. And then of course I said to him, I got the, 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 the his niece's name, which was quite a hard name. And uh, I got that right. And then I started saying, I came away with like what something had happened. And he said, Oh, I just had that yesterday. I went, Oh my God. Well, I've never met you a buff. So, yeah, well, I that, no, I was on the beach, so I was kind of grounded anyway. <laughs> yeah, what I would recommend is after you've done a reading, ground the energies. I would right. recommend that. Yeah, yeah. ground them back into that. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay. So there's no attachments or anything on me? No, you seem quite good, actually. I think you do your own healing. I, do, I think you do self healing. You might not even do that. I do, I do, and I do my chakras, and uh, yeah, I do a lot of affirmations, a lot of affirmations, mantras. Perfect. Say stop so, two cards. Stop, Paul. Stop, Paul. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to tell me what they are? <laughs> <laughs> Guidance, probably. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of, ever heard of Archangel Michael. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Celebration. Yeah, we, we have a bit of a, a laugh in my collection. So. And Celebration. So, Archangel Michael's saying he's, over, he's around you a lot. So, he must be... Yeah. Like yep. a guide in a way, so he's right. making, he, okay. he makes his presence uh, a lot. And have you got yep. so, have you got some intention of changing your life? Have you got some sort of goal or some sort of change coming up that you want to do? I don't something? have a goal. I don't have a, I don't have a goal, but I do, yeah, getting yeah. better in my life. Yeah, making it better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, yep. it says something's coming. So. That, that's the celebration. So you're gonna be happy. But you've got Michael. Great. Yeah. Brilliant. But yeah, you, you're physically quite good. You, you do good feeling yourself. Yeah. So you can, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Philip. Thank you. You're welcome. The next one is Paul. What name? Paul Haridia. Oh. Hi. <laughs> That's me. Hi, Paul. <laughs> hey. Um, so yeah, after the last one about four weeks ago, I went into kind of like a healing crisis. I had a really bad like cold flu symptoms couldn't breathe I've still got a cough tons of shit going on in my sinuses and then like hypersensitivity in my body like I'm feeling poked and prodded and parts of skin are numb and other parts are um mm, you're being upgraded that I believe because I was yeah, it, it's cold. like yeah crystalline your body's becoming a bit more crystalline okay. very very bad to experience this. you're being <laughs> majorly upgraded <laughs> I'll try going to the doctor and then explaining high blood pressure and all these other things and I you you tell I'm ascending right now, buddy. You don't have the slightest. <laughs> it was um, complicated. Listen, the doctors here. I try to explain some things to nurses and doctors, and they look at me like I have three heads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm I'm walking through it each day, and yeah, more and more power, and I'm seeing underneath and. I, I, I and I bet your cool. messages are coming through clearer and clearer and clearer. I, I feel a lot like Louise, right? Uh, that hollow bone, you just walk and some stuff. It's like tune into Louise or, or whatever and you just feel it. And it's in my body and I know exactly what it is. This is all the stuff we're going to need in the coming times. Like Louise oh, was saying, yes. we need channels. We need people that are going to help us heal and release and give us that poke, right? So yeah, as soon as Rick looked at you, I got few leaves being upgraded, major upgrade, <laughs> upgrade. Thank you. Well, it's like, <laughs> green light, green light, green light. <laughs> uh, if anyone's ever been upgraded, it's not a nice experience. <laughs> I've had smaller ones, but this one's huge. So yeah. it is huge. It's almost like a Kundalini. But when I when I had mine, Paul, I wanted to get rid of every residue I've ever had in every lifetime. And after about two weeks, I said, "Can you stop now? I've had enough." Because <laughs> I yep. thought I'm I'm going through a week, and I might as well do some clearing while I'm doing it. It's too much for me. And all me all my body was aching. And someone told me I can't cheat. I'm not allowed to heal it. It's got to be it's got to be real. So, first time I had an headache before. I stayed for more than a minute. I, I learned you can also sever contracts like this part of this was related to some contract with my mother and I was like 
no friggin' way am I gonna do any more work with her. She's got more than her for a share. And yeah. you can just end it right then and there. And okay. I just started ending anything that wasn't clear because that's gonna bring us up way, way faster if you're decided this stuff in advance. No one knew what we were gonna go through. We gotta start shedding and be pure free. So. Yeah. yeah it, 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 Deb says I'm a rule mate, right? Jen? I don't go by any rules at all. Even the ones before I got here. <laughs> That's the fun part. <laughs> Do you want some healing anyway? See, whatever you yeah, see inside, well. I'm doing my best every day. Thank you all. Yeah, you got a bad back as well. Okay, but... it's been for a long time, but uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going down my behind my heart and yeah, that uh, sciatica really awesome. sometimes. You may feel some uh, white light energy going through your crown. I accept and allow. It's almost like a, um, a spiral going mm -hmm. down. That's so strange to get like pin prickles all over your body just that random and it's just like a good <laughs> shock. you're getting a download through your third eye too and the good thing is they haven't got it yet so that's good pardon me sorry you haven't they got haven't got, got out yet the dark ones you haven't Thank got you. anything because that sort of energy they're going to be looking at that i think it's just too high too high so. i'm feeling that more and more and this may sound strange for some people, but the more you know your darkness and embody it and feel those emotions, you become fuller because that's light and dark yeah. cannot be a yin and yang half or it's right, be. Yeah, embrace it. Man. And sitting with that and any darkness comes in, I don't love and light it anymore. I grab a spear because <laughs> it's not going to happen anymore. There's just too many that are way out of alignment and uh, that's our warrior side and it's okay. It's not about killing and maiming or whatever. It's about stopping bad behavior and ending it for all of humanity. So. Yeah, it's way past the time of making a choice. It really is. Yeah, there's a lot of malevolence that is lost and we can't fix them or help them. And yeah. sometimes the best is just to end it. Yeah, yeah. I got to toxic members of my family that I'm no longer, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I've, I've spent way too much time trying. Mm -hmm. I've got to move on. And uh, in a lot of ways, it's merciful because that timeline is going to end in, in complete and total destruction. So to speed yeah. it along sometimes. I just, I, I can't. I can't spend any more time. I can't. Okay. Can you feel that, Paul? Lots of itchiness and tickling and... Yeah. <laughs> like a shower of energy. Beautiful. <laughs> I'll take it. It's the good stuff, though. <laughs> Well, and, and movement is so huge. I, I haven't been able to do a lot of yoga. I used to love yoga, but I think trapped energy is really huge. So you need to find ways to move because that's the only way to get it out of your tissues and moving and sound. Thank you. 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 It's always an honor with you, with all of you. Just say stop. Stop. Watch quick. You know, these cards are always so similar to the healing so power and focus the focus intuition in your thoughts and power you have the power to create a divine love and intelligence oh beautiful card there mm -hmm. so you're probably getting a lot of intuition during these times uh i i know things i could tell you all about what's about to happen and what's going to create <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the November event? <laughs> I think it starts at the end of this month. Somebody said the 24th and that felt really good. And then November, the rest cleans up. The big one. <laughs> the, the financial system has to collapse because that's the majority of the matrix and the control. And when there's no money, you can't pay anybody to do anything to anybody. And then uh, that's when people's fears come up the highest. And then the clearing of the government and other stuff. I, I, I really think there's two frequencies. There's been talk of seeing both timelines in your life at the same time. And then we're going to move into the higher frequency, which has different time. And then we can bridge back and I mean, forth. A lot of people think like the new earth is a new earth, but it's not. It's the same earth, different vibration. At a higher frequency. You left the end, some people go there. Well, and the rapture is exactly that. Your frequency gets so high, you disappear right in front of people and they can't see you anymore. Yeah. And we're not going away we're just repopulating the earth all the bad vibration stuff goes away and we start a fresh clear free society like i could talk for hours about how to create a society that handles conflict and sexuality and stuff that's all inside me waiting to come out so but thank you both thank you everyone. you're welcome and you're are welcome. you okay with me adding uh you've mentioned it in past does that resonate with you if it shows up yeah yeah thank you after we've done it if you put yours it's it's, it's great 
really, isn't it? Thank you. Because sometimes we don't see everything. It's very difficult to scan someone and see absolutely everything. You might see something that we miss. And we're, we're only human. <laughs> well, partly. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Paul. The next one is Gillian Spooner. Gillian? Is she in? She kept on coming in and out. I see her. Hi. Hi. I just can't see me um, video thing. Where have we gone? <laughs> have you disappeared? You're not on the earth, are you? Yeah, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> Long time you no don't... see, Gillian. You thought you were laughing already. Uh... For a minute, yeah, for a minute, I thought you were on the US. <laughs> I, I packed my bags, I could have joined. <laughs> so that explains a lot. Oh, I'm not already. Look, as soon as I've come on the group, I'm boiling. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm fizzing off now. Um, could I have a scan, please? Yeah. Already done. Mm-mm-mm. What's going on? Why are, why are you boiling? You are boiling. Ooh, as soon as I logged on, the guy who was talking, um, I just went red off. You might have took some of his uh, awakening energy. <laughs> Do you have an earache? No. What the heck? You've given me one. Um, but I'm hearing lots of frequencies, both sides. Could be frequency like that. Different frequencies could be that. Yeah, something bobbed in today a um, few times, very high. Um, something um, on my tear duct on my right eye is very tender and the eyelids started to close. Is it a fly? Shaped like a fly? Yeah, a tiny one. Do you have anything on the back of your neck? Because I'm picking up like a something with your input, your psychic input there, something there. Yeah, um, it feels like um, grit, feels very really gritty. Yeah. And I have had, I'm not sure if it's gone, um, something on my middle finger on my right hand. It's attached to what's behind your neck. That's also attached to what's on your eyelid. Mm. They're all linked. They're all linked. Is it connected to... Um, the rib or per rib on the right hand side yes it actually goes down yeah down on my back yep yeah and i um map the something under the right foot oh yeah no that's that's a that's bigger than all of them that's almost yeah. like a battery pack yeah um whatever that went in with really strong now if you can't remove it all I could do with seal, sealing where they're getting in it, the source of whatever layer of me already that's broken. Something. I've got a, I've got something that'll eat it. It's spiritual. It's something I created. In there. I've got a, you're gonna find the source first. Yeah, I, it, it, it's pointy. I, I, I just need find where they're getting in because. It, I'm just going to be removing things and I'm not giving them the me attention, but I'm fully aware that they're there. They've come in here before, haven't they? I don't they... know where they're coming in. Oh, you got a portal. I've got lots. I know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh. How are they getting a code to your portal? It, there's a closet. Coming in the closet, there's a portal in a closet. By the coat closet? Do you have a coat closet? Yeah. By the door. That's where they're coming in. It's connected. I think it's by the connected. front door. Deb, it's connected to in there. I don't know where it is. I'll, I'll try and get rid of what's in, you know, all these little things that you've got. I'll just yeah, get my... I'm, I'm, I'm a bit confused how, it's, how that, that's open because everything got shut down. Yeah, because I think that's a... I think they're... they're I think it's not connected to Inner Earth. I no. think that... No. I think that's. I think it is. No, no, no. It, I think it's Orion. I think that. I think that's a. Um, they're trying to fool you. Unless, no. unless it's like a jump. It's not inner earth because they tried to distract me with the inner earth, and then it was it's not inner inner earth. It's it's closer galactically. It might be a jump. It might be using like a stepping stone. I think it goes to a dwarf and a, a dwarf planet, then to. The, the main, a main one somewhere in the Orion. It's definitely a reptilian, by the way. Yeah. 
you know, to figure out to open it. This, this is not the main planet. This is like a very but the reptilian mission to get one of very green. Can you let me have a feel? It, is it a past life? I see that it was hidden under layers and now it's just coming up for exposure and you just couldn't deal with it. It's been uh, it to me like it's um, come from somebody who I've done some work with. It's jumped. I'll, I'll disconnect the other side. I'll do some work, so I'll be a bit quiet. It's just stopped me doing work. I've just been distracting myself instead of yeah. doing what I should have been doing. Well, you know who you got it from. Yeah. It doesn't start with a D, does it? <laughs> Jillian. Does it start with what, sorry? His name. Does his name start with a D? Yeah. Right, OK. It's going on the, um, I can't. <laughs> I've just been reminded. I can after. Yeah, um, weeks ago it felt like uh, I turned my head in when I was sitting on the sofa and it felt like somebody poked me with a needle in the eye. It looks like one. That's why. It looks just like one. Um, can you tell her I'm really later? I'm just on me. Throughout right, my door, she's just leaving. <laughs> well, I've, I've sort of do a side. You know, have you ever watched uh, Guardians of the Galaxy where they jump from one place to the other place to the other place? I was jumping all over the place then to get to the destination. They're trying to fool us, these tricksters. It's been so Dad, can you, um, or, or you, Phil, um, can you just, it feels like um, me cords to the grid, like it might be something running alongside me grounding, like me, me cords to there. So what do you want to do? You mean it's like uh, like someone's linking your energy to it? To yeah, like, like it's um, either got an access to it or it, it follows it, it tracks it. Right, okay. Like piggybacks off it. You know, I can feel quite power here, all stuck on the body. Yeah, I, I have that all the time. I'm always connected. Yeah. Like chipmunk <laughs> is, is eating away any anything that's um, gone here. Today, I nod about it because usually, if I go out in the car um, and the engine stops, it feels like the engine's still running. Yeah. And today, because I haven't been out for ages, I was like, it was there, but very subtle. As almost as if it was split somewhere else. Just saying the creature that I created at the healing room, like a chipmunk, is now eating anything that's not of your, you know, all the stuff that you had on you. Eating away now, you don't need it now. Yeah. You'll probably be it. It's called Bob, by the way. It just, uh, it just, it doesn't stop me. It just stalls me. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Aren't it? That's what yeah. they're for. <sighs> I've got rid of that. Uh, whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, you and your going great. I sent it. So create a portal around it. It disappears. It's um, it felt like I can. The only way I can describe it is. Um, and I don't know if you'll get it. It felt like um, like an electrical burn, two electrical burns, uh, one on the right side, on my forehead, my temple to the side, and one on the left, as if something had been um, fixed. The, 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 it was almost like a searing. Yeah, do you want to check the work now? I'm checking. <laughs> They're all gone. I can, all I can feel is um, a vibration on me um, throat ch throat shack. He was Ever, just yeah, Ever, Ever's just checking your blueprint just to make sure she's doing a clean over sort of thing. And she says you have to talk to her for a while. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. I was just e something. Ever, Ever has said you haven't talked to her for a while. Yeah, um, I think it was uh, her who showed me a, a blockage on a filter. It looked like a. I can only describe it as, you know, the black fish that are like gold fish? Yeah. Uh, it was perfectly clear and domed, but it kept blocking it on the um, Stella Gateway. Uh, I'll let her carry on for a few minutes. I'll, I'll get a card, yeah, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> you got two cards? Yes, please. Um, stop. Do it again, that's the same two cards as before. I'm not like, accepting that. <laughs> Just do it again. Stop. If they're the same, then. And our new love and meditation. New love can mean quite a, 
it doesn't just mean the one if you get what I mean. Uh, it's more like divine love through meditation. So if you need a miracle, you need to solve it through meditation, or you can connect to some sort of uh, divine being. That's, div that's connecting with divine beings. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I understand that. That's that confirmation. Thank you. And see, I'm reading it and I'm thinking, oh, damn, I know what that means. <laughs> I get quite shocked at that. But I also get the message as well because cards mean everything, can't they? It depends how your intuition thinks about it. I found um, personally it just connects me to my subconscious because your subconscious knows everything, doesn't it? Mm. It's when we get in the way. Yeah, our 3D mind. Yeah. If, I, if my subconscious, if my 3D mind didn't get in the way, I'd, I would have won four million pounds. So yeah, I, I don't like my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it up. <laughs> so, and that is no. true, that. That is true. Never let your mind think for you. I feel that I'm glad I feel hot because obviously I'm, I feel like I'm reconnecting to energy. Mm. And I think it's been trickly and uh, it'll balance out. So thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. It'll also burn out any residue from all, all the crap in your finger. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Deb. Thank you. You're welcome, Gillian. Thank you, Ray. Okay. He said, he said you're welcome, Mr. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the next one. Denise Alcazar requesting for scan healing. Hi, hey, Denise. Hi, guys. <laughs> How you doing? Good. <laughs> We're at four minutes past six, don't we? <laughs> we'll get through a month. <laughs> Have you had some signs lately? Some spiritual signs? Spiritual signs? Yeah. Well, like every day. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I see them all, I think. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Your heart chakra been blocked? I don't know. Do you see something there? Because it, I've, like, Anytime I feel like uh, like moving energy in my legs, like almost like a crawling feeling. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, what's that? <laughs> I see a, um, a block there. Something happened? Well, I just came back from visiting my parents, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking, I'm taking they're not awake. <laughs> no. Not, not in the way I'd like them to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, that I have to help them sort out all of their, their you know, things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it giving you a little, did it give you a little headache? Just visiting what? Them? Did it give you a little headache? That's, I, I was picking up a, a little headache coming over. So. Do you have a headache? Do you have a little headache? It just that's, what, that's what Phil is asking you. I have a metaphorical headache. <laughs> They're, they're named mom, mom and dad, you mean? You're so blessed. I know. Wait, you guys talked over each other. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Who's not muted? My husband. You. Who's that? Ronnie Connor. I've, I've Connor. seen fun there. You know. yeah. It seems quite, quite healthy, actually. Yeah, I was at the other than your heart chakra, I don't see anything wrong. Um, okay. <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a really good thing. It's a really good thing. Maybe I'm just closing myself off too much. Uh, when I went to visit them, I was like, <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe I need to uh, <laughs> reestablish. <laughs> I would just, um, I, I'd ground yourself and just open your heart. Do, do you want to say stop? You can have two cats. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stop. I shuffled that for ages. Yeah. Surrender and release. And a soulmate. So surrender and release. Stop hanging on your worries. That's probably your family, actually. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you can manifest a connection to your soulmate. But you, you basically what it's saying, you've got an ability there. You can you can manage that manifesting if you want. Okay, cool. Thank you. But you, you, you see, did you pick anything else? I didn't pick much out. I think you liked that. I don't know. It's pretty good. Apart from a bit of headaches and visiting family. I don't have mm -hmm. I don't have too many problems like clearing myself, you know. But there's times when you feel over over 
overwhelmed by other people's stuff. So, you know, it's like, ah. <laughs> so, thanks for checking. Just ground it. Just ground it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, the next one. Can, can I just say one thing? Uh, just one thing. Annie actually mentioned reading until the first time as of today. Watch the look. I, I just want to point out that if you did want healing, you would add that you wanted to scan an healing. Some might not get that. Get what I mean. Sorry about that, brother. Okay. Okay. The next one is Linda. She needs clearing of her blocks. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Linda. Hi. Where is Linda? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, you can. Okay. Well, there you are. Dropped a crystal. <laughs> First, I'm going to align your uh, chakras. Can I just say something, Linda? Huh? Is there anyone that you need to forgive? I'm getting <laughs> forgiveness. And if, if you've got some some that you someone you don't like in your life and you have still don't like him that can block it that can create blocks okay so you gotta release well, I surrender have forgiven them but maybe i haven't enough okay yeah well i'll connect and we can connect and we can forgive them and let them go with love you gotta send love to them even though it sounds so wrong it's the best way of letting them go okay and maybe it's you that you have to forgive and not them i forgot about that one Forgive yourself for put, putting yourself in that position. That's what definitely, yeah, I forgot about okay. Sometimes it's just you. That's good. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> and maybe you have forgiven them. So we always leave ourselves out. Do you feel lighter? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're sending energies for you to push that along if you get what I mean. Now let me line your chakras up because they're not. They're very misaligned. Thank you. Can you take some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth really slow. But really deep to your heart chakra. Yes. Do it again. And one more time. How do you feel? A little bit lightheaded. You have a pain on your neck. So yeah, it got released. Yeah, shoulder. Yeah. Top of the shoulder, yeah. yeah it's near enough neck, to top of shoulder, yeah. So it got released into my outside. Yeah, after this evening, I, I've got to do a full cleanse because I'm full of everyone's energy. <laughs> <laughs> you want two cards, by the way, to say stop. Oh, okay. Manifestation, divine timing. Manifestation, divine timing. Excellent card. So, manifestation, your, your plans may change, but you will see peace and happiness on the way. And divine timing is excellent. You are guided by intuition, so you can add the two together. So you might be changing your path a little bit, but by your own guidance, by your own intuition. Can you tell me, um, I seem to wake up, well, I'm not sleeping very well at all, actually, but I'm sort of fully awake about, oh, I don't actually know, because don't look at the clock, but I'm thinking it's about four o'clock. And that seems to be when um, I connect more. Yeah, everyone does. So um, are they waking me up specifically because I'm not listening the rest of the time or something? Because uh, four o'clock is the the best time spiritually. It is. And what what normally happens to me? I normally wake up as I normally have three D sleep and wake up that time. I normally do the astral work. So you go to sleep after you might be doing astral work either before or after, and that's why you, you it's like a break. Half uh, is your, your your body sleep and the other half. Is you doing your work in uh, Astra, which I have a feeling is uh, it's something. It's, I don't know if it's saving souls or warrior work, but you, you definitely it's definitely connected to that area. I can't. Okay. I can't. What, what what are you in, what do you think you do? You've got intuition there. So. Um, I didn't realise. Well, I knew that I was. I had been told that I've been doing astral work, but I'm not aware of that at all. Um, I, I, I think you. I think you help souls. Lost souls. Yeah. I think we do that sort of work. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll watch those after probably a, a demonic battle or something like that. Oh, that, that's kind of strange because um, I was seeing a client on um, Tuesday, like one day this week, and she's been having a lot of, um, she lives on a, a me, what was a mental, um, a mental hospital, and they build flats there now. And she's been having lots of, um, issues with 
yeah, 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 actually. Well, I I'm can't help. I'm not surprised. Yeah, and yeah. So she, but I did a healing on her, and it was the first time it had actually happened. I I saw, um, I don't know what it was, but some demonic thing release from her. But then after that, there were these, um, they seemed like lost souls. Yeah, the, the demonic would have been and trapped, trapping her. If you yes, demonic tra I'm... trapping them and you'd re you've really that that basically whatever you are in Astra you're very powerful because that demonic did a, a runner and you've released it or you might have had someone some other they might be in a battle and you're the one who releases the soul and it's another uh, another light worker who's actually doing the work uh, to get rid of I'm not 100 percent but I do know that you're rescuing these lost souls so how can I get how so she's in she's in the flat there's lots yeah. of things that keep happening in there like she um last week her cooker was turned right up caused a bit of a it doesn't cause a fire but lots of smoke they had to evacuate the houses or the flats was, that, was this after you before? this was before yeah oh well, no. yeah. well what happened? i forgot so the night before the night before it was on the night i did a distant healing the night before i saw her Right. On that night, that's when the fire happened, or this fire happened, um, and that's when I released the. What, whatever was in there was trying to stop you, trying to create help, uh, trying to create damage, threats, and everything to stop you. But it looks like it, you did the job. So that's okay. great. And it obviously you came from the hospital. It was an insane saying asylum or something. It was just, well, I don't know. It's called Severals, and that they just had lots of um, mentally unstable patients. Yeah, there. that definitely is that. Yes. Yeah, I would. Well, I would live in a place like that, but I'd be expecting a lot of fun. <laughs> so, how will she get? Because I think there's still things going on in the flat. There's how loads in there. There's loads. So you've released so many, but remember, this is uh, a, a long hospital. Yeah. Hospitals tend to have uh, demonics as well because it's easy to control people that have got something wrong with the brain, if you know what I mean. Right. It's easy to get in, easy to feed the, the thing. And obviously they've collected these souls and they're living around there and you've released, you've released them, just keep on releasing them. So it's um, just a case of just keep doing it, keep doing it. Just keep on doing it, yeah. Okay. I, I have to tell you something. Um, I know a woman whose family put her, their sister into a mental asylum who was actually seeing spirits and angels and ascended masters and they thought that she had lost her mind so they drugged her up and she's sitting in a mental asylum she was clair clairvoyant so a, a lot of these people in hospitals are not no they're not the same but, but they give them drugs weaken them and what's in their demonics and they're, they're very powerful they're putting the demonics into them no, they're, they're going the into an area where it's demonic. So that the drugs are weakening them. So these right. these these still want to feed up. It's sad. It really is sad. I, I've been to the, an hospital where a friend of mine got attacked by a demonic, and I saw it all out. But I was in the waiting room, and I could see him, and there was so many in there. So some hospitals, you've got to be careful because they're there waiting to feed off the souls, and when you're weak, that's what you do. But uh, that's excellent. How you can release that. That's a very good job. Well, I hadn't realised that I could until that night. But so. you saw, you actually saw it, which is even great. Sometimes you get blocked and because uh, our 3D body can't handle it sometimes. Like when I like when I went out earlier to Orion, I was fighting reptilians, but, and that would have took all day. Yet yeah, five minutes in. <laughs> so, but it would have took all day. Like it was a big battle went up. Uh, and that, that's what happens, there's not a war going on and it goes on all the time. Can I ask you uh, one last thing? Um, yeah. So, um, not yes, uh, Thursday night, um, I go to the woods with a friend and um, we started doing, we sit under the tree and we connect with our instruments and it's been, it's a bit shaman, shamanic I think, but the port, but we're connected immediately, it, it's strange, it's not in the normal way, but when we came back that night, we saw the moon in one, it was directly in one direction. And we literally walked about two minutes down the path. And the moon, we had this weird sensation and the moon had moved from here to here. 
what was that about? What what happened? I don't understand. We can't understand. Uh, Alex moved. You can't manipulate why did it move? You, you why? could have manipulated that. <laughs> it's yeah. like, why you did that move? It's like, we were, mm-hmm. well, it freaked us out. Linda, that yeah. happened to me last, I think, Saturday. We were That's driving same. here. The moon is here. When we go here, the moon is there. I'm wondering, yeah. why is there two moons yeah. <laughs> there? And now it's here. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. What I think. Saturday, I don't know. It's something like Saturday. It ha- this was on uh, two moons. Same, this was on Friday evening. Would it yeah, have been? It is Saturday here. Oh, right. It's yes, the, the time. Time's mm-hmm. different. It's the same. And oh, even two God. picture. One was here and another one was here. And the first yeah. one was huge. It looked bigger than the, the first moon, and then the second one was smaller. It was really weird. So yeah. you saw it too. Oh, one yeah. one was w- wide, farther, farther. The other one is nearer. And they were different colours as well. One was really orange. The first one was really orange, and the the smaller one was more white. It was yeah, it was weird. Oh, okay, God. now. Thank you. Should we move? <laughs> yeah, thank you very we, much. We, we are in a matrix, so I'm not surprised. I think you're tapping into thank another, you so another place that has to <laughs> You may have changed timelines, too. Mm. Yeah, it might have been a Mandela effect. <laughs> you might have jumped to a different dimension. You may have jumped timelines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Lily, there's someone who, who sent me a personal message just after Linda. So, uh, and that, that's Alfredo Java, I think I've said it. I don't it's have him. There you are. All right. Who is next? And we need to move on. Uh, Alfredo the Java. Next one. Thank you, Linda, anyway. That was really, I enjoyed that. Uh, I need to check if I have any healing. I have felt very tired. Hi, Alfredo. Hi. Uh, that's the first time that I come to this. So one of my friends recommended to come over, uh, Maria Matamoros. And, yeah. uh, so I believe uh, energy. I believe in all this, what you do, guys. And I need, um, I really feel that I need some kind of help uh, because there's something going on with me and I don't know what it is. So you can scan uh, my body if I need healing or something, please. Yes. <coughs> you have, have you been on holiday recently? The what? Have you been, had an holiday recently? A break? Holiday? Uh, have you had an holiday? A holiday? Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm getting that you need a break from spirituality. Just for a little bit to recruit your power, to get your power back. Yeah. If you get that. I'll give you energy anyway, because you said you feel very tired. I'll see why you feel tired. So it take, so it taking it that taking it's a power. Yeah. Mm. You have pain in your lower back, mm? Alfredo. Do you have pain in your lower back? Y- yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Something to do with that. I'm also getting. Is he There's a vampire? Something going, or There's something going on with his blood. Dead. Yeah. Actually, yeah. picking up. Like an, a vampire around it, an energy vampire. Yeah. I can see, I can see, see a picture of the person. It's not giving me an edit. Right, you might feel more, a lot of energy coming into so now, after you go. Have you ever been anemic? Uh, no, than I know. You feel these energies, by the way? I'm trying to break your other feel. Can you feel the energy coming in? You actually look, your colors change a bit. I feel energy right now in my brain. Maybe it was anemic when I was a little kid. But uh, two years ago, I was in ICU for COVID. I was one month in the hospital. Were you? Yeah. Did they um, give you the lollipop? Um, in your arm? Yeah, they put the, yes. Okay. You understand what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Mm, no, not really. Okay. Um, I can res- I can respond for him. I'm his best friend, and yes, he did. Sorry. Oh, it's thank not you. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. So all three. Fine. Two. Two. Um, two. Um, two or the um, third one as well. Oh, uh, you, you mean the vaccination? Yes. Oh, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
That's why we call it the lollipop. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, uh, no, just one and two, and that's it. And I didn't want to do any more. Yeah. So sorry, I forgot about that. That's all right. <laughs> the um, recording people don't like it, so they. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. You'll, you'll feel a, a change of energy. You're going to feel a, di a difference now because we have to do something something else. Or, so I now feel, we, that, that changes the whole thing. It changes everything. You know, That's I, why I see something wrong with your blood. Sorry. Um, sorry. Yes. Sorry, Phil. Go ahead. I'll give, I'll give you that one, then. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel pain in your neck as well. Yeah, maybe in the... the Next to the neck, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, this part. That's, that's why after all this, I've got to have a full cleanse. <laughs> I've got everyone's energy. All their negative. Yeah. You know, just for anyone interested, in that, when I go into the 11th chakra, remember, I, it's, like a, it's like a room. It's like a book there, and that's your your uh, blueprint. It's quite fascinating to go in. And then we get the information and we go through your crown chakra and then we start changing you back to what you should have been. First we take the toxins out and it comes out, it looks like black smoke, the soot coming out of you. Wow. And you'll feel, you should feel terrible. Did you feel that? I feel, uh, yeah, well, I feel different, something different. You, you also had an implant in, that was in your back and you also had an energy vampire connected to you and that's disconnected and you also had a controlling cord and you had, you had, the full, you had a lot <laughs> so, yeah did you feel different this year you felt because you had a controlling cord that had to be cut in your brain yes i feel different yeah i have to go to the bathroom so when it gets hard right there so, i think that's okay what do you want to turn to and that, your blocks would have been partly to do with that as well. Thank you. Everything, actually. Just say stop. Stop. <laughs> Alfredo, just say the word stop. Okay, stop. So, it's different for tonight. Balance. Balance is basically saying that uh, if you ever need help, just ask. I think that's also to do because you've asked help tonight. I think it's also to do with the word. Ideas. Uh, God or source, I would say, speaks to you, so you just need to listen more. So you, you've got intuition there. Yeah. Uh, yeah so that, that... start listening. That's it. Start listening. Yeah. So it, it's not your mind. You're giving. You're being given intuition mind. So I, I when I get intuition, it's a different part of your brain. That's the best clue you could ever have. You, your own thoughts. A certain part of your brain, but outside thoughts are from a different part. And that's how I know it's not my fault. Yes. Deb, you had a break. Have you got anything else? Mm, no, it's about that. Uh, I just uh, thank you for everything. Yeah. It, this healing took the last seven, several days, so. Yes, seven days. And just say, drink a lot of water. No. What was that, sorry? Then you say also to drink a lot of water. Yeah. Just, uh, yes, so drink a lot of water. That's your intuition saying to it. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 True. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I had to take a bio break. <laughs> you have the next one, Annie B. She likes her removal of attachments. Hello. Hello. Hi, it's my first time here. So nice to meet you all. I'm so grateful for what you do. Um, uh, just a little backstory. I'm tra transitioning into starting my own spiritual business. And um, I feel like there's blockages um, or implants, uh, etheric or energetic, that are either trying to control or leash or to hold me back from taking the next step into being able to to help people um uh, on a spiritual level so i'm open to whatever you find uh with your scan or what have you uh yeah the, the dark ones don't want us to be high vibration so they, they will sometimes you even get your own team to try and lower your vibration so all of a sudden things go wrong that you don't expect it and things happen it's been weird and that's to stop you getting to that level so mm. 
Yeah. Okay. Just relax. Your back and shoulders bothering you? Yes. Uh, you've got um, an implant and it's giving you pain in your, even down your arms. Uh, yeah. One of the implants is here on my, the back of my right shoulder. Did you ask for that implant? Not to my knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> and you haven't had the... Uh, no. Uh, no. No, no lollipops. Just wondering how it got in there. Have you ever had an injury? Yes. Yeah, that got in there. Uh, what, what was it? Uh, my most on. recent was a surgery on my left knee. Mm. It's been acting up a little bit lately. Okay, let's try it. And, um... Uh, what, did, what surgery, surgery did you have on my done? Left, sorry? Yeah. What surgery did you have done on your knee? I had torn my meniscus, the cartilage in my knee, mm -hmm. in my left knee. So there was surgery and physio to uh, repair that. Did they, put, um, they didn't put pins in, did they? No. Good. They just shaved off the end that was sort of sticking out and interfering. And recently I lost a bone from my inner ear. That was uh, in August. Um, so I've lost some hearing for that. Um, is that on your left side too? Yes, also on the left. Uh, supposedly I have clear audience abilities that will be coming in the future, but uh, maybe that's part of the ear thing. It's so funny that you've had similar situations as mine. I had total knee replacement in my left knee, and I am almost totally deaf in my left ear. That's yeah, so strange. A lot of hearing. Uh, that started when I was five years old, so that's been uh, God, 45 years now about of that, of the ear issues, lots of ringing tones, changing tones and strange audiological uh, things. I have Meniere's disease. It's like, it's glaucoma of the ear. Oh, okay. I, I actually damaged my crochet lig ligament 20 years ago and they wanted to operate and put pins in. And I don't told them where to go. I said, I'll fix it myself. And I've been all right ever since. <laughs> so, 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 but I can imagine what I would be like now with pins in my knee. Terrible, isn't it? Mm. Right, let's get this implant. Let's go into this. So how did you know you had an implant in your shoulder, in, in your back? Uh, I took, um, uh, I became certified for uh, QHHT, quantum healing hypnosis, through Dolores Cannon. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had a session myself, and I was told that I had several implants um, of that type, and that yeah. I could remove some myself, but that I would need help with others for the removal. Yeah, you, you've got a track in your foot. Can you feel? I can actually feel that. Is that the bottom of my right foot? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny. It is. I was. Yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> you, you nailed it right there. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, they haven't put it in very well. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've had it a bit of while because the new ones are. Less sad to find. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the uh, implant in the team. Uh, so you might even feel it, or you might, I might even be able to remote view it. You might be able to do it. You know, it's making me really cold, but shiver. I feel that was where I'm going. I can take them out now. That was one crazy experience. I, was. Mm. I had to get uh, some of my eye, eye aspects to sort of help me back to like, like a demigod, go for that. Was it Orion? No, no, it wasn't. I don't know where it was. It was mm. worse. It was worse than that. <laughs> no boy. Like cold. It was. They're like forty foot deep. I would take them out now. I'm not sure. Okay. Are you feeling? It's an energy now inside. I, I have a lot of high. I'm vibrating right now <laughs> very much all over with a few like hot spots around and i feel a lot of high energy right now i'm not overdoing this but you had like a demigod going inside and hitting inside <laughs> no no you, see, you, you yeah. do what you gotta do <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me but it was one of my someone I, it, it, the beings it's, it's, i needed the old team on that one Unbelievable. You're getting an upgrade through your third eye. All the places that um, had the implant and the tracking device have been closed up and healed. Partially destroyed. Isn't your orc, your orc field is being uh, sealed. Oh. Yeah, Bob Mitchell Monk says thank you for, for the track. <laughs> it's a being that created three implants. Oh well, he's doing a great job. 
I it just made it. just made it sensible what Ruby even said that I did that you create a being from white light and angelic light, uh, it can do your job for you a bit. And then the eating the person. Got two cards by the way. Uh yes please. Hopefully spiritual growth for her. Tell us when. Stop. Ooh. I think this is very good cards for what you were saying. Intentions, mm -hmm. cele intentions and celebration. So intentions create a goal which you have aim for it which you are mm -hmm. yeah celebration your intentions in changing your life are coming wow <laughs> so they're not bad cards then. that's exactly i'm saying that you move what you're doing is is gonna be a success it's good yeah thank you that's that's definitely something to look forward to in so fact they're, they're the best card you could you could but we've picked two cards over the two cards, haven't we? Yeah, oh, especially the celebration. That's great. Yeah. Um, it's also reassuring to to know that I to keep focusing and manifesting uh, these changes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. All the best on your new endeavor. Oh, thank you all so, so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you. Lily, we're still okay. Okay, the next one is Kesley. I don't know if she's still here. I cannot see her. Me. When not, then Bonnie is next. Bonnie? I'm here. Hey, everybody. Hello. How's it going? Um, interesting is the word. A lot of a lot of changes in the last week. I feel fantastic. Um, the energies that's been coming in, I just really had to kind of go with it. It's been amazing. So I've been cleaning house, eliminating stuff, literally and figuratively speaking. Um, creating um now talking to source about um i know what my mission is i've been dealing with this for a while but i i need to find out why i'm having blo financial blocks Just try and stop young mission that's <laughs> we all have that yeah. Yeah. Right. just trust don't think about finances just trust just be grateful just be thankful and and don't worry about money i've just picked a car now and it was abundance now that could be either abundance in wealth or spiritual growth, but so I, I, I think it's coming. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Um, I found a hundred dollars in my purse. And I can't <laughs> okay. Know. Well, I, I was then, like, yeah. okay, wait a minute. I should have known that that was money was there, but um, because it's been anyway. Really, I'm yeah. very grateful for these sessions because it, it has absolutely been amazing. If I didn't know any better, I, I could tell you because I've never tried it before, but I feel like I've been tripping for the last six months. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that's coming from because well, I mean, I'm usually in a very blissful state anyway, but I mean, this is like even beyond that. And then a couple, about five days ago, I felt like um, I had to go and ask for a personal loan to pay back rent. And on my way from this individual, I just felt like the like a crust I, that's probably the only way i can say it burst away from me and i mean it just felt like i grew 10 feet tall walking back home i mean it was amazing but at the same time it was just like what was that and now i've got family members reaching out that i haven't talked to in probably 30 40 years wow so gratefully um these are individual i have a very large family and the majority um did did the sugar and um these have not so it's just again a lot of changes um a lot of good things but what happens is when your vibration changes you attract other types of people other family once you change they you're attracting them different vibrations that and the fact that this is the way i've always been and these last three years have been very difficult with um other very negative family members <clears throat> you uh, you attract what what you say is what you get though. Yeah. So if you're talking negative, you're going to get negative. What you put out with your mouth and what you think is what you're going to get. So if you you know if you're if your negative things are happening and that's all you're talking about is all the bad things happening to you, that's what you're bringing in, right? And no I know the safe, point. You, I know the you point. You can be as awake as you want as you think you are, but if you're I'm only talking about negative things. That's what you're bringing in. Yeah. But if you change that, your life changes. Yeah. But if you're only talking gratitude, thankfulness, 
love, that's what you're bringing in. And somehow trust, you, and trust, somehow trust the, the, and family, great. the family members are drawn to you then. What was that? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't and, hear And you. then the, the, fam, the other family members have been drawn into you because your energy has changed. Yeah. More positive. Unfortunately, I found out a little too late that the objective was a hidden agenda that I felt and I ignored. That was really what happened. So now um, I just drawn the line and said, you know what? And I won't swear, but that was the, the just the breaking point that I was like, I can't be around this anymore. Exactly. Everything's a lesson. It's not, it, and the timing of things are the way it's supposed to be. So no, I wouldn't say that. It happens when it's supposed to happen. There's no mistakes. Move on. It's that's the way you've explained it over the last couple of weeks. That has been soft and gentle. That's helped a lot. It's all gonna be fine. No matter what's going on and what they what they say, it doesn't have to affect you. You have to remember that. Keep your vibration high. Yeah, the difficult Rise part is that I've lost siblings. I'm the youngest, and now they want me all to go back home, and I don't want to do that. And I've already said it. I. I've and I've just had to be very firm this last week specifically that no. I've done the same thing. I've lost two. It's, you know, they've chosen their journey. You know, you have to respect that. Yeah. You know, I, if they're so negative. You just, I can't, I can't deal with it anymore. They're so mean. They're so hateful. It, that, that's the choice. That's their choice. I don't want to deal with it. You don't know it. Right. I, I don't. And now I just put both hands up and say, y'all need to stop. The projections that you're doing to each other and the hatefulness. I had a healing session with my nephew. All of them except three are older than I am. So um, I did a healing with him yesterday to release the same things. So it doesn't matter. I know things that I, I can, I just can't explain to them anymore. Yeah especially when you, you give them guidance that they went in the opposite direction and now they're like, well, why didn't you, t I did. And I now I've just got to move on. I, I, I want a different, entirely different experience for it, myself. It, it is strange how you tell them and tell them and tell them and it, it, it doesn't get through. And then when they realized your advice was good, they, you didn't tell them. <laughs> um, basically it was, I'm very, very optimistic and I always believe in good things, regardless of what it is, it can be a golden opportunity to change. And that's just always been my approach. So I just, I have to ignore now the narrative that if that's what they want to just, you know, I just, I just don't, I'm not going to be blamed for them not taking the guidance 10 years ago. And now them, you know, well, you have to. And I'm like, no, I'm not obligated. So. I, I've got a new experience that I feel. And I do have to tell you guys this because it happened again two days ago. And I'm not really sure what happened, but um, when I was walking the dog, um, the same thing happened again where I don't like to call it levitation. I feel like magnetically I was being picked up again and I'm like, oh no, we're not doing this. And I and it wasn't grounding because I can do that now, even though I have that lump, you know, on my foot, I just have to do it differently. Um, and I had, and then I got on the ground and I was laughing because I go to my elder tree that's right there because it's in the circle that I created. And I, I'm, I'm getting literally picked up and I'm like, no, you can't do that. And then the cats will jump on me because they're like, no, you gotta stay here. And it was funny, but it wasn't, you know? <laughs> I don't know how to explain that, other than it was fun. But I was like, no, I I, no, I don't know what, what's going on or who's, um, I don't know. That could it was be you. fun. That could be you doing that. Well, Why I thought it? the same thing, but it's unexpected. And it's like, wait a second. I wasn't trying to do anything other than, you know, walk the dog, because it, and I have all the cats, I mean. Does it happen in the same spot? Yes. So maybe, in a there's, circle. maybe that's maybe that there's a, a circle that has uh, some energy, a portal or well, of some sort. Well, it's that, it's that, it's that. well, I created the circle because it's for elder trees, and uh, I just feel amazing when I walk into the circle, and I ask permission first, and it just it's an amazing thing. And um, my earth dragon went back underground, which I've been asking, you know, why, but we're going into winter now, so that might be another reason, but. 
I did what I was supposed to do and I've been creating, well, I haven't created, I've just been continuing um, the grid work here. And it's been now, it's like, okay, you've done what you need to do and keep doing that, but it's time for me to be receptive. So this last week has been, like I said, my whole, my body's been vibrating and if I go too high, then I come up <laughs> and I laugh because it's funny. I've learned a new experience about um, when you call, uh, if you call like your fractals back and stuff and you want to integrate them to, I've been creating uh, golden bubbles that they come through the golden bubbles so that they... Um, you, you, you partly merge them, which is unbelievable. When, when you do that, you feel that power, yeah. Yeah, so I've been cleaning the house now and, <laughs> and you know, bathing the dog and, um, I was able to get four of his nails clipped and I'll get the others in a couple of days, but I don't know. It's just been, I haven't felt like this in about six years. I, I did have a, it was a little bit of energy that you didn't need on the back of your neck. I don't know what that was. Oh, thank I'm, you. I'm out of an evening. The evening you did the other day and you didn't ground it. it I'm sorry, be, Phil. It might be when you're healing your family member. You couldn't before that time. Okay. It might have been that, but it, it it just, it just came out of me. Yeah. But you well, look last, a lot, you look a lot better. You look last, great. Thank you. I, I do. I feel great. Um, oh, I was going to say something else and I forgot. Oh, um, what came to me in the last two days was uh, because I've been trying to um, work with this energy for my divine partner. And what came up for the last two days was forget the past lives. It doesn't matter. We both gave up on each other. And ever since that, that was no that was about three days ago these last two days have been like i said um oh that's probably the only way i can explain it wow is it, is it a wow moment oh, what'd you I, say Phil? I, I call it a wow moment unexplained yeah. it's just you can't well, explain when I, it when i was going out in the when i was walking the dog I, uh, again i just felt like i got put in this bubble and i was like wait a minute no i'm just, I'm just i don't know kind of like i was being pulled in a, in a direction or i don't know whatever it was but again i'm just grateful for the energy um i think that the healing that i did with my nephew uh over the last two days has released him too and not you know being what i you know growl beaten into obligation that wasn't ours to begin with right and now that if you want to say stop and that would be too fast stop uh, uh listening to your dreams <laughs> yeah so listening it's intuition it's learning it's forgiving your knowledge and you just got to listen to it and your dreams uh, through your dreams yeah that's, that's what it means so well, they're giving you in intuition for your dreams stick a pen stick a pen next to your table or whatever you, next to your bed that's what i did two days ago because i'm used Sorry. to doing automatic <laughs> writing because yeah. when people say dreams it can it's there's multiple definitions to that yeah. And it's been, you know, I mean, I have goals and dreams because I'm trying to get property and doing a, a, a healing center, what I call a healing center, but it's a nature center, really. Um, and it's pristine property. So when you say that, I was trying to figure out what you meant because it's been amazing. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you, Deb. Um, it's actually even on a business intellectual side. There's something about what you've done professionally that we're connected in that way as well. I'm not sure what that means yet, but I guess I'll have to go back and look at your profile to find that one out. <laughs> you, you need to make, you, you need to join together and make a healing center. That's what it is. I'm sorry, what, Phil? <laughs> you may, need to join together and make a healing center. Yeah, I want to, um, I want to open up a, a rescue, uh, a healing center with uh, farmland so I can rescue horses and goats. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry I'm laughing because my whole life, animals, older people, and children flock. And I'm going, yeah, but I want some help for that. I, well, yeah, you know, just a natural thing. But anyway, thank you ever so much. And Lily, thanks for all you do as well. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Lily? Yes, you're welcome, Bonnie. The next is Ernestine. She has a problem with her hearing. <laughs> You can't hear, eh? <laughs> it's a sound. <laughs> yeah, I've been having, can you guys hear me? I can hear yeah. you fine. 
I've, I've been having major technical issues for the last two weeks. Yeah. So, so you want us to heal your tech for a bit? It can no, be done. I, I, I got it figured out now. Look, I'll get rid of this, sorry. Um, yeah, no, I'm fine now. Because <laughs> it was me. <laughs> it was you? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, me and technology, not a good relationship <laughs> here yet. <laughs> Yeah, it's growing. I know a lot of people like that, but I think you figured it out. You're fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm fine. It just takes you a little longer. It does. It really does. Yep. Yep. (laughs) So if you guys could kindly scan and... um, um, That would be Rick's job. Okay. And something, I just, I got a message while this was happening and I read it. And this person, I'm not going to say the person's name by no means, they... uh, said you said all these horrible things about me and i'm going what so i respond saying i've never said no such thing and then when i went on to my timeline right and because i posted something a couple days ago because we have all kinds of trolls that are out there and they start to say oh i've tried to ask you for friends and it won't let me could you ask me like they they manipulate it to try to get us to ask them yes and and especially these men with fake pictures fake pictures yep. they've stolen from somebody yeah and so the other day i did a i think it was a live and this person approached three of my friends that were on that live to be friends and because one of them reached out to me and says do you know this person and so i'm going no, i don't think so and then that's how this all come out so what i did i post on my timeline you know be aware these are con artists and yeah. and what happened was the person <laughs> this fellow sister misinterpreted thinking that I was saying that about her <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> Be- because and that because this guy will say your you know yes your name right yes. so th- she thought I was saying that about her and so here I am now and and if somebody says to you that I've said some horrible stuff please help me straighten this out because I know exactly what you're talking about because I saw that post yeah because I see it all of it, it, I saw it on my posts and, and I block them immediately. Yeah, that's what I do. But I wanted people to be aware these guys are con artists, yeah. they're manipulators. Yeah. Be aware. Yeah. And this, this friend, because he had yeah. put her name there and I copied and pasted her name. So, but she thought I was talking about her. And uh, this is, and here's something very important, everybody, please, this is for all of us. And maybe that that's why this is happening. Maybe this is why I'm speaking about it. Sometimes, and I've done it too, okay? We read something and we go, we go off the charts. We get triggered. Step back, take a few breaths, come back and read it for what it is, not what you... <laughs> think it is right and um you know and, and, then, uh, and then get triggered the second time <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god you know and because i was devastated this person thought i was saying all these horrible things about them which i've never said about anybody yeah <laughs> and now i get it because she made a comment on that post and if you want to go look at it to see who it is you're more than welcome to but if you know this person i'm going to ask you very lovingly can you tell them (laughs) that they misinterpreted it was not about them it was about the con artist that was trying to approach that responded to that post yeah yes the fake it's a fake person yeah it is oh yeah yeah do do you know on that uh global event i take me and Deb take, I mean, I've took 300 fake accounts of it, and it's all linked to porn. And luckily I put blocks on so it doesn't get to the actual site. But I know when someone presses a link, they'll end up scamming them. They'll end up getting into their account or something. But you 300 at the moment, and it's climbing. And Facebook, and some of this is animal stuff, and Facebook says it's not against their policy. Yeah. <laughs> How can it not be against their policy? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, f- fake accounts. Fairly. Yep. Yep, they are, and that's the thing. That it just it's it's right now. Like it hurts my heart to think that this person thought I was referring to them. It hurts my heart, but I know I did not say that. And I just pray to God. Uh, you know, you cannot control how she feels. No, no, I'm not. I'm, and I know I'm not responsible. I'm just saying. Yeah. That that I want her to step back right now and look at it for what was really said 
And it yes. was and it yes. just it just so happened to be I copied and pasted where her name was. There was two other people. I just it just yeah. went I, misinterpretation. I oh, I'm not I'm worried, worried about it. It just because it just happened. It was just like yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So, I, I I love the fake account went on the message and he says a friend of yours. I can't get in the account. They're going to send you some numbers. If you can send in there, I'll scam your account. That's what we're thinking. You know? <laughs> no. Yeah. I get that often. I get that often. Yeah, and and that's where we have to be use our discernment. If your yeah. gut and you get a f- bad feeling, don't try to analyze it. Trust it. I know. Really. <laughs> trust it. Because if you don't trust it, shit you get happens. Get scammed. <laughs> Shit happens, yeah. bad shit. <laughs> Every time I didn't go with my gut, I got in trouble, especially <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> I was. I'd go sit in my bedroom because my parents had just punished me. I go, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew better. I know better. Yeah. <laughs> I got insides kept saying, "Don't do it. Don't do it." <laughs> All right, let's scan. Ooh, I have a message from Archangel Michael. Mm-hmm. You're doing such good work. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it up. The angels love your music. Who are you linked to? I've, I've said that as a play over. What? We, we, she's, a, uh, she's linked to uh, someone in spirit who gives her the songs. Who was it again? Was it Beethoven? Beethoven was part of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it was Beethoven or Bach. It was one of the two. I can't remember. Yeah. It's one of the two. Yeah. Yeah. Because he came in in one of these sessions. Yeah. The angelics love music and they're all so happy with it. You don't yeah. like my music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it, I'm not, I don't think I've been here since I'm at the Sology Fest. No, yes, I was here once. But something I've realized since Sology Fest, being there has shifted me massively from the inside and even my music it's shifting and i'm not in control i don't want to be in control i just shift with it and uh, it's been quite interesting just growing and trusting and that's the difference it is and that's yeah that's exactly it and and that's the best it's yeah it's uh (laughs) yeah it's and you're happy yeah yeah yeah, I feel good inside. I've had three different people tell me I'm going to be having a partner very soon. And I've been single for 13 years. And I said, she had to be fucking special. <laughs> okay. Archangel Michael's laughing. He's going, fucking special, coming right up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, energy's really good. It's like, so. let me jot down that name. Must be fucking special. Yeah. <laughs> if her first name starts with an F, that's a <laughs> joke, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. My name is Francine. <laughs> You'll get the joke then. <laughs> Francine, Francine Stewart. Fucking special. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Uh. Don't be surprised. You get what you asked for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just, in my heart, spirit. But I go by me. Frankie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. People used to, because, uh, you know, you guys don't know this part. Um, I'd become very complacent from high school on because everybody called me Ernie. And I was complacent with it, which I'm wonderful. I'm fine with Ernie. But. I literally reclaim my name, my full name, as most of you guys know. And that's why you see Ernestine. And that, and that doesn't mean people can't call me Ernie. Because friends ask me, can I call you Ernie? I said, absolutely. It's just, no, this is who I am because I do love my name. But it's also me reclaiming me. Yeah, yeah. Do you want two cards, by the way? Your energy is great, by the way. The what? Your energy is really good. It is. Oh, it is so good. I, I, think, I think the actual channel music is actually doing healing on here as well. It does. Yeah. It does. It it does because yeah, because I get to travel. It's um, amazing. In that song. 
Yeah, it's it, it is amazing, and I feel very from blessed. the first time we saw you to now, it's just amazing the change in you. So relaxed, and then yeah, yeah. You want to say stop and uh, two cats. Stop. <laughs> I think you've already done that, actually. Self-acceptance, <laughs> which I think you've already done, but self-acceptance, self you're far too difficult for yourself. Start loving yourself. Stop being so serious, but I think you're already there, actually. And for, you know, I, I think it's like this. Yeah? Yeah. And when I say that, is that if that creeps in, right, that I sense that, I ask myself why, and I yeah. change it. The friendship is, Lose, you're losing friends and you're gaining friends. Lose the ones yep. that you've outgrown. That's what you outgrown. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I'm letting those go with love. Yeah. Absolutely. And I will continue doing that. This is, this is, when I say this, I'm going to encourage anybody, if you're able to go to Solo G Fest next year, I encourage you strongly. I have never experienced so much love so much respect oh. and appreciation with every single person who was there. There was just, it's just for everybody that was there. It's just, it was it's like a, a family community. I, I used to yeah. go to Seoul and jazz with the and it was very similar. Yeah, because it, it's, it's, it's a feeling that when you experience it, right, yeah. that is just, it's phenomenal. It's just, yeah. and that's where, you know, and that does mean we, yeah, it's just, it's just, it was an amazing experience and I'm so grateful for Soul Family. Yeah, so great. Thank you. Blessings to everybody. Love you. The next one, Carolyn Wright. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. So you want to remove the antibody stuff? You might feel this, actually. Just relaxed. How many lollipops did you have? Three. Yeah, I thought three. And the head felt like it was going to explode. Is that mm -hmm. how yours is? Yeah, I can feel that. Uh, I also feel a little bit of pain in the in your foot because you're tracking. Did you get, what did you get, Dad? That was a controlling right. board. Do, do you actually sometimes change your personality a little bit? Because there's something we had to cut away from. You know what I mean? You're not yourself if you were a few years back. Yes. Yeah, so you might change that because you have to put a cord out. What did you get, Deb? Same thing you I, did. I kind of became a bit more cynical. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a, a controlling cord. And all I can say is in the brain, I see a little black cord that I need to cut. I don't know where, well, that's from, but it's all part of it. Uh, so you might get back to what you were. Um, yeah, it's. Been, I'm going to double check it because you, there's so much of it. I want to. I want to do another another one. You know, like, yeah. Do you have pain in your foot? Sometimes. Yeah. There's a tracker there, so I'm going to do that. Keep you find it there while I'm going through the reverse. Did you have you felt? Did you feel it going there? Did you feel the change? Yes. Yeah. I'll do. It. I'll do a second. feel different? I do, yes. Thank you. My that feels way, better. <laughs> that, that's because my, uh, my spiritual being, uh, Bobby, Bob, sorry, uh, you just tell me, is that it? So well, it was an implant. Air track. Yeah, the implants, I've gone to the planet, got rid of it all, cut your cords, and you've been reversed. So theoretically, your head should be a bit more settled now. It felt like it was going to explode. So. I'm all I've tingly. I'm all tingly. I'm not surprised. <laughs> That's really. You've got a lot of healing going through you too, so you, you'll feel 
for the next week it's and um just drink a lot of water bless your water and your food but this is your vibration and it helps it helps it helps have you had to add some okay, breathing as well we you. have you had, had, had like had, your breathing's been different have yes you had that? yeah because yeah, mine is now <laughs> That's good. Yeah, like, I you, sometimes you're... get like panicky as well. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, just say stop if you want to, Oracle cards. Okay, stop. You know, I don't know how we get these cards. So. They're very similar, but I did shuffle them. Uh, self acceptance, start loving yourself. Uh, just I've got to try and just want to let me connect. Uh, Have you lost a few yeah. friends recently? And you get uh-huh. new ones, yeah, that's what it's saying, and that self assessment is basically saying you did the right thing. Yeah. Okay, you just send just you've sent them away, just send them love and love, love, uh, love yourself, like keeping hold of them too long. Yeah, okay, I can feel that. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it is, thank you. Right. It's my first time here, and you know, I've watched it all the way through. It's been absolutely amazing. Mm. Thank you. Thank guys. you. It's great. Yeah, me, Deb, and Rick, we work really well together. Uh, so sometimes we, I miss someone, sometimes you know, we, we all end up finding them. But you, you did have implants and everything, and there's been a battle going on and everything, but it's all to do with uh, what you were saying. Yeah, lots of things. Mm. That, it, it, all I'll say is there's a lot coming out at the moment, so <laughs> she's good. I can feel that too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we go to the next one. Anita. Thank you. You're welcome. welcome. Anita. I think we did her before. Anita B. Unless it's another Anita, I don't. Trauma on trauma healing attachments and blockages. There's a different Anita. Is she here? Yeah, you are correct. We have. No, that was Annie. Annie B. So Anita is different. She got. Mm, I think she's. What, I, where ha, what happened to Paul? Um, my. Uh, he, yeah, so he went. He, he has to go. No, no, Paul. Paul, there's a Paul here for, from England. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he has. No, not uh, Paul. Hand, Paul here. Handwriter. No, this Paul. There he oh. is. I saw his request a long time ago, and I can't find it. Now. Yeah, I'm here. It's after one. Yeah, five. I've seen Karina's. Image is there. I've seen the image. She, she, you can't do that. <laughs> we already did, Kareem. We already yeah, did. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying the image is in the chat. He can't do that. I know. Yeah, Paul. But Paul, we did. Paul, I don't know what happened to your request. I can't find it anymore. I have it, but there's no. There is still one, two, okay. five people right. before him. Oh, mm-hmm. let me take care of Paul because it's a, he's okay. in the UK. Okay. It's late there, and he's very ill. Hi. Mm, okay. He sent me an email. I apologize. Not to worry. Not to worry. Um, just wanted to check on the uh, status of these cheeky cancer cells. Because uh, uh, I had some healing with you last week. And then I had an appointment to have a biopsy under general anesthetic. And then the consultant called me um, a couple of days ago to say that they knew where the cancer cells were and the location. So I was a bit confused as to whether that was very close to after that, you know, the seven days of healing. Um, so could you check the status, give it a scan and have a look where we are? Yeah, I can. Uh, have you been, did, Dad, did you send that borax in? Yeah, I did. did um, yeah. I did, but um, uh, the the borax you were referring to is an American product, so I'm going to have to find um, something no, equivalent. No, uh, no, 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 get it in the eBay. I've got some. You can get it on eBay. Yeah. Okay, okay. all right, I'll do that, oh, yeah, okay. okay. I'll probably get cut off now, advertising. <laughs> there, there, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I bought in, when I was in LA. Oh. We were in Los okay. Angeles. That, that box will last for years because you only use a small amount. Yeah. Um, if anyone wants yeah. to know any info on it, just email or send a message to I would be in depth. Okay, I will uh, go on eBay. Listen, I couldn't find it in the in the grocery store in America, so I had to buy it on, buy it on Amazon or eBay myself. So yeah, even that bottle is even that box is I got a cheaper version. It still seemed okay. Yeah, but, um, 
what, what it does is how kind your body to everyone. But you've got to have it like I've got a video from a, an expert who shows you how to use it. So if anyone wants any info on it, just send a message to Adam or Dad. But it's your own choice. I'm not a doctor. Do you see it, Phil? I don't see it. I feel some of that. Yeah. I don't think it's absolutely, really, you know, bad. You can feel, do you have like an headache towards it? Do you have a bit of stress because of the worry? Get, get rid of that, yeah? Sorry, Phil, are you breaking do you, up? Do you, do, you, do you have a bit? It can be quite stressful and worrying, and that is that just feeds it. It just feeds anything you've got, so you've got to try and stop that worry and be gaining power. Be yeah, strong. it's it's yeah. trying to find that balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, but generally, I feel balanced. Yeah, that's you good. know, and when I'm with the right, and also when I'm with the right people, it, it's fine. It's almost just as if it's irritating, really. Problem that I've got, I've got. But I'd rather try and avoid the. So I'd rather try and avoid the uh, chemo and radiology that they've got lined up for me. Yeah, I, I can't advise you on that because I've got insurance for healing. No. Okay. But, but when uh, uh, but I, I tried to seeing? stop me wife, I tried to stop my wife getting it. So I don't get the chemo. Uh, it's all sorts of other alternatives. I would study it if I knew. That's what I'm saying. And to me, it's not. As yeah. Bad as well, I've been using some other modalities. Yeah. It's like uh, people say, like apricot seed and grape seed and that sort of thing, as well as the borax, as well as selenium, as well as chloroquine and silver. You can see I've gone well into it because my wife had stage four and she had six. They basically, the doctors gave us okay. six apps about a week. Back. Where are you located, uh, Paul? Well, I'm in Hertfordshire, England. And, and where's your healing clinic? North of London. But where are you? Where's your healing clinic, Phil? I see that. What you might. What, what, the hospital? No, we, I, 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 I do really I Sorry, sense. I it's, it's too far, to be honest. Stockport is too far. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're in Stockport, Phil? Yeah. Yeah, too far. Well, I, uh, right. Yeah, there's actually a healing centre there. It's, it's a few healing centres all over. In Stockport. Yeah. The, the way, spiritually, how you would actually Well, if you heal. could recommend one, Phil. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd have to check. Spiritually, how you heal can cancer is you've got a starving of the energy and you've got a starving of the fluids. So you put like a ball of energy around it. But I'll give you some healing anyway. Uh, whereabouts is it again? I can feel it. I just uh, have I you located sort of at the back of the the back the back of the throat. Hmm. The back of the throat. And what what, right what stage are you? To? What stage of this? Well, well, I guess it's the early stage. Yeah, and that's the thing. Chemo might get, get rid of it. The problem with chemo, and this is the thing, it kills all, all your fast growing cells. So your lips start changing yeah. a bit and stuff like that. And like when my wife had it, she had a burst bowel three days after. I, I said it was that. They said, no, it can't be that, but it was too coincident. And then they gave her six, six hours to live and they wanted only the family mm. to say goodbye to her. And that's, but she had stage four and she had it, you know, all over. And, uh, I got it. I've got eight months, which will be bad, I suppose. Okay, I'll, I'll send some e you might feel it. I'll try and starve it, and both foods. The other thing is, you've got, it's not really cute. How, how did you get it? That's what you, you should be looking at. How did I actually get that? Yeah, There's a well, reason. I'm not sure. Really, yeah, and that's what I would study. That's what I would look at. Okay. But that's how you can feel it. Did you feel that? I feel a, uh, a bit warmer. Yeah. So, I, yeah, if my only advice is to be, I can't tell you whether to have it or not because I'm not a medic. No, I understand. Dead, dead yeah. might do. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what would, what alternative things that, uh, or complementary uh, things have you, have you discovered that are good? Uh, the oil, <laughs> the oil. That I'm not allowed to say on here. <laughs> but it's got to be oh, the uh, it's got to be the, uh, it? the stuff that you can't get on the counter with the B in the middle. Yeah, it. Uh, <laughs> I, I know it. I've, I've known it to do miracles. I've heard, but I'm not allowed to say on here because it's CBD oil. 
Yeah, but the one you can't play on the counter. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Is it with? Does it still with? Um, still has the active ingredient in it? Yeah, yes. all the active yes. ingredient. Yes. It's, it's yes. The one. It's the Canadian man's recipe. You know the Canadian man that. Um, what's his name? It's like a pie chart for different ill ailments that this shop sort out, and this one is the strongest one. So I'll say that's what I would. Look I know at. somebody that makes it. Um, yeah. I don't know if I can get it to you though. No. He's in Las Vegas. Stopped in custom though. <laughs> he actually makes mm. it. Um, mm. Yeah. It's a friend of my son. So does it still have? The, it's got the THC. And it still has in the it. THC yes. in it. Yes. That's what I would look at. I'd yeah. also look at borax to have fun. Yeah, okay. it's legal. It's legal here where we live. Yeah. Oh, what the heck is yeah. his name? Yeah. Um, yeah, but he can't get it there. That's the whole problem. Anita, Anita said Rick is the name. Rick Simpson Rick. oil. Yeah, Rick Simpson oil. Phoenix Tears. Yeah. Hang on. I'll write that down. Hang on. <laughs> it's crazy how things are legal. Yeah, they probably do the best yes. for you. And that's the reason why, because it, it, it cures cancer. Well, it's all in reverse. It's all in yeah. reverse, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, and I'm not sure where it is. I'm big pharma. Well, I'm, chem as chemotherapy, big pharma. chemotherapy and radiation is very big business for them. It makes the them other, a lot of money. The other thing is big pharma, like Astra, have got the cure. I know that. Have what? They got have the cure. what? They got the cure. They won't give it back. Right. Yeah. Because I used to, I used mm. to sell, I used to sell to them. So. In fact, tell us when I did two cars. Ooh. Well, Stop. it sounds a bit difficult, a bit difficult to source. Uh. <laughs> you got to press to say stop. stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. I can probably get you some, but I just don't know how uh, easy I can get it to you. Yeah, without, so. Without it getting mm. taken away. <laughs> This is basically What's saying, say? I can't... it's basically saying, take body. care of your physical body. That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> body care. Yeah, body care. And body care. And what was, and and what was the other one? Friendship is uh, surrounding, uh, surrounding, uh, uh, surrounding friends and getting new friends. And we're your friends, so we're your new friends. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 other, yeah. the other, when my dad had it in 1990s, I channeled this and it was selenium and that was in 1990 or no 1990s sometime and then a, a year or two later they were studying that for cancer so i'd look i'd study it i wouldn't i'm not recommending it i'm recommended to study it and i also employed on silver i would study it i'm not recommending it I'm just recommending okay. to study it yeah i the other the other things i have been doing um I've been taking um, Turkey Town mushroom capsules, which I hear have had a good kind of effect. So I've been using that. I've been listening to um, sound vibration music. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, frequency. Um, I meditate. Frequencies, right? And of course, I, medi yeah, I meditate every day, of course. Um, so throwing a few things at it, but I. Try it, try it all. Yeah. <laughs> Of well, course, accept, yeah. accept accept the healing and don't and don't believe that you have it. Don't think about it. Just let it go. Okay. I don't I don't even see yeah. it. The the thing that I do feel is yeah, you are the worry on it is too much. You need to release a bit of that. Yeah. Okay. It's, I know it's hard, okay. but you don't don't believe these. You know you don't you don't have to believe these doctors because you know not. I I, I don't want to give you my yeah. opinion of them, but. I don't have a great opinion of a lot of doctors anymore. They're not no, there. I understand. They're not we there know for, for our. They're not there to, to cure us, and they're there to. Well, I think the, the business. Well, it's a business now. I think the doctors, the doctor team that I'm seeing, um, are very conscientious. Um, I have no um, other feelings but good feelings for them. Um, they're doing their best, um, so I believe that. Um, but kind of knowing the things we know and obviously dealing with these things on different levels um, brings me to say, you know, to someone like yourselves, um, because I, I know that it's it's also at a very subtle spiritual level as well, um, but it's just trying to get a, a handle on it. And as Phil said, I don't sure why this came about insofar as that um, uh, generally I was pretty healthy. Um, what can I say? Say no, I'm not, but I'll try I don't have this. 
<laughs> no. Okay. All right. I don't have it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, because, I, I mean, yeah. because That's I truly fine. don't see this. No, I don't have it. You don't see it there yourself. I, I don't. That's what you know. I, I, okay. that, that's what bothers me when I don't see something. I don't see it. Okay. I, I, well, they show you. I can they, feel some of it. I can feel some of that. You can feel it. You can feel the but energy. I can see it. it. Yeah, but I can see it. I can feel. It. So what have they said? Said about it? Have, have they shown you pictures, or is it just a blood test, or how do we come to their conclusions? Sorry, I feel like you broke up a bit there. What? Yeah. Uh, how did how did they come to the conclusion? How, how did they find it? How did I find it? My how did uh, they find my it? My dentist. Yeah. Mm. Well, the way it started was uh, my dentist hygienist said you have a lump under your neck. And I said okay, and then I went for um, an ultrasound and then a guided ultrasound biopsy, which confirmed that it was a cancerous mass. Then I had a PET scan, and I recently just had a. Um, uh, biopsy under anaesthetic and next week I go and see the team to discuss what they think the treatment options are and in the meantime here I am with you guys um, just to ch check I wanted to check the status of it since the last healing session you did um, see where we see where you know where is that so you know Deb says you can't see it but you say you feel it so is it are you saying that's a very subtle thing or what do you think Deb? I think it is your I choice. I saw it when you first day. told us about it. I'm saying that mm. I no longer see it. Okay. So is that re so would you say it's receding then, in that sense, going into remission? I'm saying that it was healed, but I don't want Okay. Okay, I'm saying it, but then if you're if you're not accepting it or believing it and you're still talking about it like it's there, then it will not okay. go away. It will not Understand. You'll, you'll you'll keep bringing that energy there. Okay. If I can't, well, it's difficult I can't not. See it. Little, a little bit it, difficult it, not to. The, the, yeah, the problem I not to for doctor. The, the problem I, I I'm guided by my insurance. I cannot say. I really cannot say. No. Yeah, right. Legally, I can't say. Right. Yeah. All right. I understand. If I was I a doctor, I could obviously. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but you see, of you know, if um, you're talking to a doctor and a doctor is saying, "I see this," or "I've got this." report i've got this biopsy then of course what's the reality i feel like i'm in two realities i'm in one reality which says uh you can change it you can heal it you can make it go away you can transform it you can manifest that's the kind of spiritual person that i am but on the other hand i'm in the the 3d part of me is in the national health service <laughs> yeah. well, what reality do you want raise your vibration in it and in stay in that reality and, and okay. what one do you want do you want to experience all that you can experience all that this is what what, what do you want to experience the, the other well, thing what the <laughs> other thing what, what you could look at is if i have that treatment what will happen to me in the treatment yeah yes. have, a, have a have a think about you might get rid of it but will you be a different person afterwards is it worth going down that road there's a lot of side effects having, having chemo that are good. I understand. Yeah. I understand. I understand. Um, and I understand what it all does. And it's almost as bad as the cure. Um, yeah. So, yeah, sure. The reality I want to live in is uh, is high vibration reality, uh, which is the one I aspire to, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be talking to you guys, um, um, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so it sounds like a decision. Yeah, when, when my wife had it, I gave her the choice. I said, I can treat it, I can heal it, I can probably reverse it, I can give you loads of advice on it. At the end of the day, it's your choice. And her choice was, she'll use me afterwards. But once she had it, I've, I've got a picture here in France. I don't normally do this, just give it a sec. And this is me healing her for eight months. Just one sec. There you go. Can you see how ill I am? Mm. That's me. Mm. After eight months trying to get rid of chemo, that's someone. You know, that's my family, by the way. Mm. <laughs> Hope you didn't mind that. Yeah. But, but that, okay. that's what it did to me. Yeah, it really yeah. took took everything out of me. And it wasn't the cancer that did that. It was the chemo well, that did that. well, I guess a lot was taken out of me, as you know. My wife Jackie died last year, so mm. it was like no, no, it just was, as my emotions. It, that was getting rid of the chemo, however. That was healing the chemo. Getting rid of the chemo. It was getting rid of that. 
it actually like uh, right. I was drawing it out. So that wasn't nothing to do with right. the dying or anything. That was me trying to stop the, the chemo. Okay, I understand. I yeah. understand. It made me really ill, actually. So there you go. Well, I think where you were asking, like, where does it come from? Um, this is something I've been thinking about. Where did it come from? How does it manifest in that way? Yeah. Um, and I guess, obviously, um, emotionally, I was just beginning to rebalance and uh, then find I get a diagnosis for cancer, which was so surprising. It, yeah, so it could have been with your wife dying that could, could trigger it quite easily. Well, it was a long time as well. It wasn't just overnight. It, it was a lead up to it for several years, really. Mm. And I think that was that was terribly stressful for the whole family because of what it was. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I know that because because of the way that the rest of the family um, experienced it as well. The, the other thing is it's your, your throat, which is like the throat chakra. And sometimes yes. you can damage that for not speaking out. If you don't say something, oh. continue it, it, it can it can like create blockages there. So is it to do with that? I don't know. Mm. Are you holding okay. back? Are you not speaking your truth? Well, sometimes it's difficult with some of the people around me to even bridge that gap, as you know. Mm. Uh, you know, I'm not really with many like-minded people, to, to be honest. Um, so it's difficult, but I try. I think I try. Um, it's not that I'm shy of it or afraid of it, but um, in, a, in terms of communication, um, I find it, uh, well, very difficult in terms of um, uh, the cognitive dissonance, you might say, that seems to be created between what I might say and what the well, reality and, of that and person I'm not might talking, be. And I'm not talking speaking your truth to strangers or, or acquaintances. I'm talking about no. speaking your truth to people that are close to you or who you think are close to you. Speaking your yes. truth, being honest, right. and, and not holding back on saying things. Maybe this is affecting your throat. Okay. All right. Well, good advice. Um, we give that a go. Um, it seems like I have a decision to make with regards to yeah. how I play play this one. Yeah. Maybe um, you you don't tell your kids I love you enough. Maybe that needs to be said. Mm, I think I do actually. Good. To be honest. Yeah, I do. I do. We we are very close. My my two daughters and I we're very close. So yes, we do. And that's wonderful. And so, so that's there's not, no that's there's, not, there's no I've never had, there. No, I've never had a communication problem with my children ever. Uh, you know, ever since they were little, it's always been a clear a clear communication and honest communication about anything. So there's no problem. It's more perhaps well, think, friends. Think think about who maybe you have a communication problem with. And maybe that needs to be resolved. There's something going on. <laughs> okay. Sister, a sister, a brother. Maybe that needs Perhaps, to be resolved. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I've got. Oh, I've got, I've got another example. Uh, I don't know if you know on Facebook. A uh, personal friend just died last week. I've known him for 42 years, and he 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 died of stage four cancer. Now, I only got in touch with him a few weeks ago, so I've only done healing on him but twice. Now, he was given four months, that was last July. So he had a positive mindset, complete. He didn't give a monk, monkeys what the doctor said. He, he just lived his life and uh, he lasted 16, 18 months. And he had stage four, 16, 18 mm. months ago. So mm. I do think it's about your mind as well. So I just wanted to give you that yeah. example. But when I, when yeah. I was doing healing on him, I think I, cleared, I blessed him a bit, I cleared him. To, you know, you clear mm. all your, your, your rubbish you've collected. That's, that's probably only easy. Mm. Yeah. But it is your choice. Okay. It's a difficult one, I know. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be a, a testing thing in a way. Yeah, if me and Deb had it, we wouldn't have chemo, would we? Deb? Yeah. Would you have chemo? No. No. I would. No. Mm. Oh, radiology? No. no. Definitely not. Might as well. Like mm. a microwave, isn't it? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's your well, choice. I appreciate tonight. Yeah. Of course, of course, I understand. It's, you I understand. know, it's it's a personal decision. Totally, your personal decision. It's up to you. Yeah. It really is. There's no pressure. Mm. I say, and, you know, mm. I, we're still here for you. I, I would mm. look. I, I appreciate would look, that. I would look at Borat, so 
Okay, I'll, do, I'll certainly uh, make sure I get some. Um, make a little note here, um, and I'll keep up with the um, the other things I'm doing. I mean, they all they all seem they all seem non-invasive and good things to do. Um, I mean, I think in the past I have healed myself from things as well. Uh, you were talking earlier about cartilage regrowth. I did have an accident, yeah. my, and the surgeon said to me he was going to operate and take away the cartilage, and I didn't like the sound of that. And through meditation, massage, um, over a period of time it healed, and I don't have any problems with it at all. Yeah. So I know it's, I know that so it's possible. Remember how powerful you are. Okay. Can I show you some of it? I'll, I'll show you some of it. Hey, can you see that? Oh no, share screen. Am I sharing screen yet? Yeah. Can you see it? That's eBay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, so it's right there. It's only six pound fifty. Uh, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get it. Okay. But that outlines your body. Okay. It gets gets rid of loads right. of stuff. That it gets rid of so much stuff. And I, I think you've got the video, but uh, I said that uh, yeah. We have an hour left that before I have to leave, so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did well, it's been an amazing two? session. I gave you two cards, haven't I? <laughs> um, <laughs> I've given you two cards, haven't I? You have? Yeah. I'm, so, okay. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm 57 <laughs> next month, that's why. Well, you certainly don't look at film. Thank you. I did in that picture, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, eight, that was eight years ago. We're on four and a half hours now. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Yakety yak. Good. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> I love you. Okay. We love you all. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. And the next one, I think, is she is this me not anymore here. Anita C. Yes, yeah, she's gone. Gone. Okay. Then the next is Maria Matamoros. Okay. Hi, Phil. How is everyone? Um, yeah, well, yeah. Hi Maria. Nice to see you. <laughs> um, I'm actually calling for my mom. Her, her name is Carmen. Carmen, okay. And, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, she's sick. Kiki, come on. Is that, is that good lighting? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's good that's now. Good word is right okay. now. Hi Carmen. Hi. Does she have the lollipop? Yes. Mm. Did she have the uh, booster? El booster? No. Two. Okay. You might feel this uh, energy going into Yes. Okay. It's okay. They feel different. She wants to cry. It's fine. She's <laughs> 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 Does your mother have dreams? Say. Does your mother have dreams? Oh, <laughs> Some kind, but no tengo. Muy seguido. Not very many, sometimes. <laughs> are they good dreams or are they bad dreams? Son buenos o mal. Good dreams. Good. Does she see, does she see Mother Mary in her dreams? ¿Usted la madre María? No, never. Any angels? No. She feels heat in her body all the way coming up into her head. Her head is, is very stressful. Yeah. I can feel that. I can feel that. Yeah. Just relax. Tell her, have her to breathe through her nose, in and then out. Have her release her breath through her mouth very slowly. Have her do it three times. Okay. Mm -hmm. Better? Yes. Good, good. All the toxins from her, from the um, lollipop, have been removed. It's okay. Sometimes I feel somebody in my head. Yeah. And sometimes 
I look in the back and I don't see nothing, but I I see somebody close to me. And I pray and I say, why? Why you touch my head? Somebody touch my head. <laughs> when I am in the kitchen only. <laughs> when she's away? When she's in the kitchen, she cooks a lot. When she's in yeah. the kitchen. And somebody touch my head and I feel cold, horrible cold. And I say, why? Why you touch me? I don't know who they, is it. They, they're trying to eat. Yeah. They're trying to what? <laughs> give it to give it a eat. Actually, giving me spirit mm-hmm. giving. No, yeah, yeah, it feels like it was exploding when I was doing it. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, so the they're releasing, they're releasing the stress. It's, it's good, it's actually good what you're doing, even though it's cold energy, it's not bad. It's fría, no es mala energía. Yeah, I've just picked a card up with signs. They're just showing you that they're there, they're there to support you. They're saying that they're there with you, they're there with you, they're there with you, they're there with you, they're there with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the head was very, very stressful. It's like it wanted to explode. How do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? Better. You feel better? Yes. I feel hot in my head and up to in my body. Yeah. But why, why, why do people touch me? I don't feel well. It's for last one year. They start touching me. And last October, I am sick. Very, very sick. The doctor say I have a chingles in the face, and now I have a something the bone in my face, and it's only in the half of my face and my head. And this painting I go out. I feel hot when somebody put a bone in your skin. It's horrible. And now it's in the 17 days, the October, I have a one year with this thing. I, I when I when the pain come into my face, I go on the floor and I and I cry and I'm screaming because it's in the night, in the middle of the night, in the morning, in the day for for two months. After two months, the that spot in my face go slowly, slowly. But it's one year now, and and these things in my face did I go did not go. I feel something when they put a fire in my face. Fire in your face? Yes. Who did? She feels it. It feels like fire on her face. It's the after symptoms of Burn. shingles on that side of her face. Burn. What okay. somebody put? Okay. Maria, this healing lasts for several days. Mm-hmm. I would I suggest. I would suggest we do it. We're doing an healing next week with pets. But if you if you come on, see how mm-hmm. how. The improvements happen and we can give them more healing if you want um, to. Okay. They, they, they lollipop causes shingles, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. So, I was reading about that. Yes. <laughs> um, it, can you tell, uh, let her know not to get any more of the yeah, no, reco- a, any recommended. Um, Todo lo que le recomienda, no se lo ponga. No. Eso le causa eso. In the, um, in the, in the fifth day of October, I have a COVID tax too. Yeah, you after can't that, it after yeah, yeah. Ah, de más diga yo entiendo. I, I know, we know. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and any any of the others that the doctors recommend, if you if she cannot do those, no, she, I don't. Yeah, even I if don't. she the ones because it, they're pretty toxic. Mm-hmm. Okay. And come on next week on our pet one, and we'll give you healing again. Yeah, yeah we have another we have another healing session next Saturday. Um, we do pets first, but we can do we can do anyone else after. Okay, yeah, got it. It's pet, it's pet healing next Saturday, but we usually don't have too many people, and then we'll do another healing for her. Let's yeah. see how she does after um, the release of the um, of this. Got it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Be strong. Yeah, be strong. Yeah.
answer for them. Okay. All right. You're good. You're good. It's okay. All right. So our next one, Gabriel. Read. Gabriel. Oh, hold on. Did we do? Do you want a card? For her cousin, Nikki. Yeah. <coughs> you can do the card first if they like one. Yeah, Maria, do you, does your mum want a card? Quickly. That now. Yeah, she's gone now. Okay, we'll sorry about that. Okay. That's no we'll problem. give her a card next week. <laughs> okay. All right. So I was hoping to um, get a scan for my cousin Nikki. You guys have scanned her before. Did she have a problem with her legs? Uh, yeah, she's having a couple different things going on. This is where her legs are tight. Mm -hmm. Her knees. Um, sometimes it's hard for her to go up and down the stairs. What's there's something going on with her back? With her lower, the, the lower spine. Uh -huh. um, she, the other day, went to the hospital. Her blood pressure was really high, and she ended up passing a blood clot that was like the size of her palm. Is she, um, did she do the lollipop? She did, and she did that thing after. That's you why had I'm done, so You had done a healing after she had got that done. Um, but did she, I was she, went and, she went and got the third one? Mm -mm, no. Yeah. Wow. She kind of used herself as a test subject because I kind of told her what was going on. And she was like, well, I'm going to do me before I do the kids. And she kind of has a different view on it now. So. Yeah, but I, are you sure she didn't do the, the boost? She said she didn't. She did the boost after the, the lollipop, but not again. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The she, I think she got them like right after each other, like really close. Yeah, the third is, is very, it's not good. It's not good. It's harder to do. That's the one that's the, 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 that's the one that's the hardest. Does she do drugs? No, she she's a cannabis user, but no. She doesn't even like using pain medicine, really. They do have her on though um, this uh, like anti seizure type medicine um, because uh, she has like this pressure or I don't know. You guys did a healing and she hasn't been having like the headaches since then. But back then, what they were saying was there was pressure going up on her brain and that's why she had had headaches throughout her life that like Tylenol or ibuprofen couldn't assist with. Um, Wait, when did you start giving her the medicine? Um, to do this. Uh, probably like within the like last six months or so. Um, and when did you, when did she have the lollipop last year? Um, she had the lollipop in March, I think. Yeah, you, you can add two and two with that one, can't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I've sent a healing. I've tried to do what I can. Okay. Thank you, Bill. There's some kind of medication or drug that's messing with her. Yeah, it's what the game. Is pot legal where you are? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, say stop and I'll give her, give her two cards. Okay. Tell her to be careful when she's smoking that whatever medication or a narcotic that's in that drug, the two mixing together mm -hmm. is screwing with her, with her body. Okay. I'm almost wondering if she doesn't need that medicine to stop, by the way, Phil. Um, like, I would like her to maybe get a scan and see what they see now, you know? And then. I would I would just be really, really careful. Um, it's not mm -hmm. having a great effect on her. Yeah. Did say stop? Okay. Yes, she did. Yes, she yep. did. did. Say stop again. <laughs> stop. Yeah. All right. Manifest day. Manifestation. What's the other one's name? And the other one is uh, divine timing. Yeah, okay. so use your int intuition, which you did turn a little bit. Yeah. I don't know whether that she's is. like, I don't know whether she's like smoking, drinking, and, eat, and taking those pills, whether it's the three things together. Yeah, it's like on the weekends we'll drink, but yeah, she's noticed like she can't drink as much, like she'll feel weird. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it, it's yeah. there's something to do with mixing and 
it's screwing with their bed. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, she, has, she has to be really careful. Her. The thing is, they gave, gave us summer. It affected us. So they've given us summer else to stop the affecting of what she initially gave it. It's just a, a money money cycle, isn't it? Mm-hmm. For yeah. them, they just make money on everything. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just seeing that it's not. I, she may be. She may end up in hospital. It just. It, it's just going to affect her really badly. Yeah. I'm just yeah. seeing warning signs all over the place. Okay. okay. I'm going to replay this for her. She wanted that. Yeah. I'm just they're getting guides telling me she just got to watch this. Okay. Will do. Thank you guys. I appreciate You're welcome. it. Welcome. And. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Much love. Thank you, you too, honey. So, next one is Bridget Bridget Rose. Bridget. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hi, Bridget. Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could please scan me and heal me. I've been having a bunch of medical problems, and um, one of which um, I keep swelling my legs and feet um, keep swelling and one leg, um, the left leg is bigger than the right, but now the right is starting to swell and it seems like I'm retaining a lot of fluid and I don't know how to release it. Okay. I have depression and anxiety really bad since my mom passed away. Do you have a fear of dying? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's one step. You know, we never die. Did you know that? That we're infinite beings. Your mother's not dead maybe the, the this body is not alive but she's not dead she's alive she's never ever going to die she's just resting right now what happens was as we go to the other side and your guides meet you and you review your life and what your accomplishments are we have many many lives some of us some of us go back to doing to what like some of us are angelics and some are uh like my husband and I are not angels. Philip is, or one of his aspects. But you review your, what you accomplished in this life. This is just an experience we're having. This is our real us. Some of us are uh, Andromedans. Some of us are Phil, uh, Palladians. Some of us are many other different types of people. Well, it just seems like ever since she passed away and other family members um, around me have passed away um, the past few years, I've been having a really hard time and and um, my anxiety and depression has been bad. I've had issues with friends not wanting to be um, good friends to me, you know, because they... Um, thought that I was inheriting a bunch of stuff, but they don't realize all the financial stress I'm under, all the financial issues. I have been having one obstacle after another, after another. And then with my health, it's like, um, I need to be healthy for my son. But now it's like even walking to the um, bathroom or walking around the house or whatever is very painful. I'm stiff, I'm achy. Um, the doctor well, said that they have arthritis and... What, what, what happens is arthritis, I believe, is mainly stress. Stress goes to your weak joints. That's arthritis. So the more stress you get, the more pain you get. I also believe that you're carrying your life's baggage on you. And it's a bit... Do you remember Scrooge when he's got a big chain and he's got all the... and it's dead, dead heavy? That's your life baggage and you're owning it got to release it yeah if you if you come to the conclusion that we all end up dying anyway what's to worry about dying we end up there uh, anyway you've got to release and think you're dying by the way you are taking this baggage on you might as well live the best part of your life by surrendering your all your traumas surrendering all your difficulties that's the only way i can think of. i haven't got anyone that i don't like i've made peace with everyone and by doing that i've released my baggage yeah i've i've had a lot of childhood trauma i've released it all. it's all gone i've got the memory of it but everyone who's on me in my life who's done me difficult who's done me really bad i've forgiven them and i've forgiven myself for holding on to that baggage and just release it uh, yeah release it all right. uh 
an example. Yeah, an example. A week ago, I had a friend that died. 42 years I've known him, but he's died now. I can't do anything about that. I've just got to move on. Uh, my wife died eight years ago. I had to move on. My mum and dad are dead. Uh, I'm the. I've got my children to support, and that's what you've got. Look at the, what you live for now. If you've got children, that's what you should be. You should be looking at that. You're their future now. Yeah, and that's how I look at. It. That's how I look at reality. Uh, okay. So, do you think that if I start releasing things and and um, and getting rid of stress and stuff, that I'll heal myself and get better? I, I do believe that. Re- don't have stress. Ground yourself. Walks in a park. Walk with your, your child. As even if it's painful, just do a little bit in a nice environment near a stream or something like that. And the more stress you release, stress feeds all your problems. Feeds it. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. A bit of coughing. And what was that? Sorry. We're having a financial block within myself that uh, preventing me from um, achieving financial goals, or or do I have um, any um, curses or um, anything that is? So, so, so you, you believe that your remember believing that can manifest that. Remember that. Do you believe that you might be like partially have a, like a, a family curse or someone's ex you from your, your ex friends or something like that? Is that what you you have a feeling? Is that in your, your mind? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I just feel like um, I just didn't know if if somebody did this to me or if I did this to myself. Am I making myself sick? Well, you, you, no, you are making yourself sick, but you're you're asking us to check you out to see if anyone's triggered this, started it up. Okay, did you get that, Deb? Yeah. Okay, just close your eyes. You, you'll feel a bit of energy here. Is it a family member you're thinking of? Mm-hmm. No, no, it's a friend. Like, I have several, several friends that may have. Okay. After this healing, you will not have a curse. Definitely. Okay. Does one of them dabble then? Dabble in black magic? Does one of them into sort of witchy sort of thing? Does one of them dabble in black magic? I don't know. I I think they could have. Uh, you'll feel this. Did you get the uh, lollipop? Yes. The the shot. Yeah, I got three of them. Okay. And since then, even my menstrual cycles have been jumbled and... <laughs> Well, I could tell by your blood that you did, but I just needed you to confirm it, please. So that's a, a big reason for your health problems. I had the um, swelling in my left leg before, and I had gone to a doctor, I forgot to tell you, they put stents in my left leg, and it seemed like after that, they it, it got like, um, the swelling got worse and worse and worse, and now I look like I'm a balloon that's ready to pop. You may feel this to your whole body as it's uh, being removed, the toxins. You feel any different? I feel like there's been tingling and um, warmth. Uh, it's no exercise on the It's is only its own, but uh, you like parts very different. You'll have a healing for seven days. You might be worth going on next week as well. Yeah. Just say stop and uh, not too kind. Next uh, Saturday we'll be here again. You need a follow up. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. You say stop. Stop. You got self acceptance, which is basically start loving yourself more. Yeah. So you're you're the most important being. Yeah. So love yourself more. Try not be serious, even though you've got health problems, and support the beings around you that you don't see. You can ask for support of them as well. So you've got support spiritually, not just for okay, them. How, how you feel now, anyway? I feel good. Yeah, but I yeah. do think, as me and Dad said, yeah, come again next week. You just need a bit of a follow up. You had a lot of work, lot of work for each other, and I think it needs a bit more. Uh, will I start um, getting rid of some of this fluid? I don't know. That's why I want. You'll have healing for seven days. I'm not 100% because of the stent that's been added to it, but uh, we'll see what it's like next week. 
there's a lot, a lot of work, you know. So I, I can't tell you exactly what will happen, but there's a lot of work. Yeah, the energy that you receive today um, will last for the next week. So coming next Saturday, we'll, you'll get some more healing. So we'll see what what needs to be healed next Saturday. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. All right, I have about uh, 15 more minutes before we have to leave. Okay, we have Kimberly on, and we have three people now: Kimberly Ryan and De Denise Alcazar parents. No, not yet, Denise. We have still Kimberly. I'll save mine for next week. <laughs> okay. 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 Thanks. Then now is Kimberly. Kimberly. I'm here. Okay. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me okay? Yes. yes. Okay. How are you? Okay. Thank you so much for taking the time for me. I'm very grateful. You're welcome. Um, I'm just hopeful for a scan. Um, I want to make sure that I don't have any, I have a lot of health problems, but I want to make sure that I don't have any dark attachments as I do light work. Um, I, I am also a healer, but I want to make sure that I'm not doing anything wrong in the work that I do, that I haven't um, collected anything negative. What are health problems? I'm so sorry? You, you've got health problems. I feel it's your back, actually, but you're back. Yeah, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It's a um, genetic disorder. Um, my body doesn't produce collagen, so my ligaments are very stretchy, but it tightens my GI and my cardiovascular. I have um, actually at L5 bilaterally, I have a crack in my back right now. Um, think, think, about, think about this, why is it like that? It, it's the brain, so the brain is making Reprogram it. You're an Elon. You can self heal by reprogramming your brain. But let's right. see what I can do. Uh, but I had a uh, cruciate ligament damage. I should have been in a wheelchair for five years. I told the doctors to go and do one. I'll fix it myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I was, I was, I was have 20 no years. That was 20 yeah, years ago. Your joints either. So it's it's very yeah. You, you can reprogram it. Yeah, Everything as an Elon is possible. But let's have a do you feel anything in your house? Yes. I don't see. I don't feel anything on you, but I definitely feel like you've got something in your house. I think you have a few things in your house. I agree, and I've I've tried to get rid of them. Um, I know that my roommate's brother is here. I believe her mom is here. I know there's a dog here or something that acts like a dog. No, they're um, not. They're not lost souls. These are more like. Demons? Do you, you don't feel them? Is there any any weird stuff going on? You know, you know, I'm sorry. Any black magic going on? Ouija boards or anything like that? No, I do do tarot and oracle. Um, I do sage a lot. I bless the house a lot. Um, Are you the only one in your house? I have a roommate, but she's older. She doesn't do any kind of anything. She's Christian, so you never know with Christians. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got a those damn, Bi damn Bibles are worse today. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna I bite my tongue on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a recovered Catholic and Christian. <laughs> you know, I became Catholic. I became Catholic because I thought I needed the rituals to keep me safe because I was taught that my gifts were evil and then if I entertained them I was going to hell but if do, I saw them there is no hell them, do, do you know well we, we make our own hell he is lower dimension my, my mother was a subtly skilled Christian teacher and a tarot reader there you go <laughs> <laughs> so she had both, both. I do all of my work in the name of Jesus Christ so you know but I also you've, you've never gotten rid of your Christian I don't believe in religion because I just don't. Um, but I do believe. I, I think it's I think it's um, post traumatic stress from it being drilled into my head so much. You know, um, you, you, you never got rid of the programming. Correct. Correct. Jesus is a teacher. He's an ascended master. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know he's this. Your, he's your. He's right here. He's your brother. He's not up here he's even he's telling you 
he's no better. So get that in your head. <laughs> you're connected. You're connected to Source God, Creator, just like Dad, he is. Dad, why, why do I why do I trigger him? What? Why do I trigger Jesus? <laughs> I trigger him. It's because of my comedian attitude. Yeah, it's, there, he didn't die on a cross. No. There is no sin. He had four kids. Yes, he had children. I do know. I do know that. It's not that many, dude. Oh, yeah. It, it's there was no sacrifice because there was no sin. What 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 God would sacrifice his own child? He would never sacrifice you or me. That makes sense. Just, yeah. The, the God sense. in the God in that book never existed. He would never talk that way. Right. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. He's pure love. He merged with my husband. He never felt anything that energy of pure love like he's felt when they merged together, and that's how he became a healer. Right. He's actually right. appeared. He's actually appeared in the flesh for him. What we would what we would assume God would look like. Right. You know what. Our little pea brains say, "Oh, white beards, white coat." <laughs> well, white. <laughs> I, I I believe that I have I believe that I've seen God myself. Uh, very beautiful light, uh, very warm, loving. Um, I I know I have actually, but it's, it's not nothing you that, that, say you, that, that, that love is so powerful. Right, it, it's overwhelming. So yeah, that's that is the that's the love of our Creator. To, he would never kill somebody. There's nothing that could make him harm any of us. There is no judgment when we cross over. None. We create our own karma. We judge ourselves when we go to the other side and review. There's no judgment. So there's nothing we can do wrong that would make him crucify anybody. Do you think I'm my own worst critic, to be honest? We all are. We all are. That's why we have to forgive ourselves and love ourselves. We have to love ourselves first in order to love somebody or something else. We have to learn that because we have been programmed by the Catholics and the churches and the religions to love, to, to love others before ourselves. That's right. the opposite of what we are supposed to be doing because right. they, they bastardized everything to make everything. And then guilt is the worst thing. We right. never have guilt. Never. Is your back better, by the way? I'm sorry? Is your back better? I'm seeing emotions and, and guilt. That's why I'm talking about yeah, it. I didn't by the way, the demons are gone. They're gone? They're gone, I'm playing. Bless you. Well, my team, my team for it. That was your worst thing that was going on there, which was the energy that you felt in your own home. Oh my gosh, I was trying to fight it every day. Can you, can you, can you feel the release? I the can't. The doesn't I do it. <laughs> feel the light? I feel the lightness. Well, what does do it? Because... Calling calling the Ghostbuster right there. <laughs> Bill Ricketts. There, there was a... There was a portal left to the lower dimensions. You had a portal left somewhere. That's gone now. It, it gave, I've got a guard, guardian dragon, it gave him a meal. <laughs> so we didn't even send it to light, we just that's it. The other thing about religion, a lot of people say you're supposed to worship. We have God inside us. Why do we have to pray or worship when we, we, we are the beings? We, inside our soul, we are source beings. We, yeah. we are an aspect of God, so that's why when I when I used to do healing at a Jesus Church, I never prayed. I used to wind the pastor, <laughs> and I said that's because I talk direct to. So. Yeah, I think that I was just so in fear of my gifts because I, you know, um, as a child I was terrorized by demons in the home that I grew up in, and you know, of course, nobody believed I wonder, me. I wonder if that's the same ones. <laughs> That were here, yeah. I don't know, no, because these ones would like get physical with me, like to the point where I couldn't breathe. And well, think I, about it: the, the, the more powerful you get, the less light you can do anything. But they might have been around you. They didn't look like fully demons. They looked like wannabe demons, like minions. Yeah, so, but, Little troublemakers. Yeah, tricks to stuff. Yeah, and that's exactly what would happen. Like my shit would come up missing and excuse my language and then 
you know, a week later, it would be back where it was in the first place or, you know, just random dumb stuff going on that I'm like, just okay. Just to wind, wind you up and get your energy. I'm sorry? Wind you up and get your energy, yeah? What was that? They, they change your energy field by doing that. Yeah, yeah. And then they yeah. see your I think that they've been with you all your life. It's yeah, I believe that. <laughs> I truly tonight. believe that. Are you sure they're gone? Mm. Like, yes, they're gone. Their whole life, they're don't, gone. Don't, now. don't, they're don't gone. manifest them. Don't manifest them back. No, no, no. I know an old team went down. Yeah, I yeah. Did, the, the whole house lightened up. Everything lightened. Yeah, I can, I can feel energies. I can, I can see energies like that. They're gone. <laughs> Gone. But what one reminded me of like a ferret. <laughs> the other two were oh, it was quite a few actually. <laughs> well, I'm very grateful, you guys. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm very grateful. Just say stop and you can have two cats. How's your okay. back anyway? Is your back gone to get back? Um, I feel tingling. It's still kind of painful in the lower part, but I do feel tingling and warmth. Yeah. Um and stop. I think Ryan just has a question. Uh, oh, stop, stop. <sighs> ah, I would have get, get, you can get your power back now. Now that's been done. <laughs> At last. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. You, you're the power, uh, you're the power. Like you are the power of the creator. Divine loves, loving intelligence and religion and focus. Check, you, you've got a lot, you can get a lot of, you get an intuition. So, use that intuition yeah so grateful thank you so so much you guys you're welcome, you're welcome. much love much love thank much you love for you bye bye okay i have five minutes i, I mean phil you. can phil can continue but rick and i have to go i have an appointment okay. it's ryan ryan Hi, hello ryan. Uh, hey you guys done well hey it's been like five hours so good on you guys hey it, yeah, I just want to say yeah, thank you for you know removing the implants um, that were in here. Um, um, uh, I was just coming for just a little quick checkup, just to check up, just to see. I don't feel like there's anything anymore, but you had some questions too, I think. But um, let me see. No, you don't have any more. But just, it's not like you you've been yelling this week. No, yeah. no, I've been coughing up a lot of phlegm from my. Uh, throat like funny enough every day it chemtrails so, maybe like but i thought yeah. it was that implant that i had inside here that implant from orion um and maybe the trackers i'm throwing all that up like purging it up you, you, no. yeah you got a bit of stress from this week as well i can feel it heavy on your head yeah it looks like you like went to a rock concert going yelling yeah, it's called coffee. <laughs> well, I wake up like that from my dream state. Like last night, some guy was talking to me about having an implant in my eye. And then there was another person trying to tell me what to do. And I was not following them and listening to them. I was just walking away. But I think that control is being released, you know, that, that control. That's when you tell them to F off because you're in well, yeah, control. I just, yeah, I feel like I don't, I don't do what people say anymore. Like I just do, I just follow my own path now like i'm not easily manipulated anymore thanks to that um black box or implant that was yeah i'm wondering how i even got in the first place like i know my my daughter's mother she has the, the lollipop um but does, can it come through her or can i get it through just being around people with it like am i that sensitive that i can actually just be around people and absorb implants or through the dream state maybe it happened through the dream state because I, I wander a lot at night time i'm always wondering yeah. And you I know, don't know where I'm you, going. I just wanted to say, you know, last week when you said Orion, I'd already yeah. said my favorite place. And Deb knew my favorite place. How did place. you know it was Orion? I, that, that I was being sarcastic because my favorite place is where I go a lot. And it's not my favorite place. It's the opposite. It's, it's Orion. It's the opposite. Yeah. It's Orion. So Deb already knew I said Orion. And you said it. <laughs> you said it wow. before we said it. Well, well, I'm aware no, of no, I I'd already a lot of your videos. Yeah, yeah I, I already said the Oh, you watch, you watch you watch our videos? Uh, yeah, I do. I watch a lot of your videos. I like the awareness. Uh, like, I've just been watching today. I wasn't, I really didn't care about healing for myself, but, um, but I know that Orion has a lot of control and a lot of that. And it could be a timeline that I was on that I was controlled and maybe that timeline's coming up. So it's like nothing I did, it's just it's coming up. And like those control implants, 
But I'm kind of worried about my daughter. Like she's six. Is she protected from all this kind of implants and all these kind of like infiltration and all that? Like I'm very into it. I'm very interested. Uh, they they don't. They, they don't often go for children. It's like yeah, a rule. It's, protected. it's like a rule that uh, it's, it's it's you know like you have an agreement with the war. It's dark and light. What is it? But I have no teenagers that could go for teenagers they don't have to go for very young children you know? so they have uh, they have but the, the, you know you, you they're not I, said it, I said it's rare yeah, yeah. Right. then they don't get any um, i i don't know if it was from her um year well i have a photo but I, is it safe for me to show my daughter on this on live like do you reckon it's safe to show my daughter's picture on here yeah. Yeah. i can, do have a picture i can share it quickly go on. okay it, it's up to you. I'll share my screen. Okay. I think the implant came from Astra. Yeah, I think so too. Um, okay. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, she's so cute. Yeah, it's something about the eyes, though. I can see in people's eyes. Like, it's something. I don't know if it's my own perception, but I can look in people's eyes and I can see. I, ag I agree with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're very perceptive. No, uh, she seems to be fine. Uh, yeah. And also, I wouldn't be surprised if she's uh, starving. And that and that's the borax you guys were talking about, like the holistic, that's yeah. the holistic, yep. it's the edible way, you can eat it. So, yeah. It's just funny when it's a washing material, but yes. um, yeah, I want to get some of that too, because I've been doing diatomation earth, and that seems to be working very well, the silica, but I might try this too, to get physical parasites, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, this, um, that actually, uh, it, uh, it uh, was it balance your pH in your body. Yeah. Have you got? There you go. Oh no, I'm here. But um, yeah. Um, well, we getting some of that for sure. So yeah, I'm, so I don't have any plans like any like demonic. Cause I look at my own eyes and sometimes yeah. I see someone else. Like that guy was telling me there was so, like a, something inside my eye, which he could be just trying to infiltrate me. Yeah, you know, a, they're, lot, they're a lot of trying. times it'd be something. Yeah, it's uh, the eyes of your soul and it's uh, entities yeah. feeding off it. Uh, but I didn't see any of that. Uh, no, yeah, he said, no, so he's just trying to. I, I, you had stress in your head, yeah, a lot. Of stress. Yeah, I do wake up like I do wake up with a very like pounding head, like because I don't know if it's just mm. my in my dream state. It's very like I'm doing a lot and it's very visual and I'm seeing I'm yeah, walking around I, like jungles and I'm talking to people and I got to be aware. I'm got to be more aware. Yeah. That's it. That, that's it. A jungle is one of the Orion planets. One of the constellations. There you go. I'm still. I'm still going anyone. there then, and that's what the guy was trying to talk to me. He's like so you might, trying you to tell me to come to him. You might have got it from there. You're very powerful. Yeah. And uh, they'll obviously want your energy. Your daughter, I'm sure, is a star being, you know, a previous life. She's very connected to one of the star. I don't know which one it is. I don't see anything in your eye. So look again at the, at the camera. No. No. They're very clear, because I can tell you something I saw. One of his friends on a cruise, I, I saw his his dead father in his eye, and I'm telling you, yours are clear as a bell. I don't see anything, <laughs> no implants, nothing. Yeah. It's like pools, it's clear. Yeah, um, I feel very clear. I just feel like a lot of it's yeah. coming up, like I'm just, it's you just actually it's, uh, would know. Residue. Yeah, you would know. Yeah. After having that one implant, now you're so aware that uh, you'd know if you got one. That's probably why I got it, so I'd be more aware that I that it's true. For me to believe it, you need to experience it. You know, a lot of times yeah. people just need that. Like, even though I didn't get any of the shots and all that, I needed it to experience it anyway. So I wouldn't mind being able to clear it in other people. Like, now that I've gone through it, maybe I can somehow see it in other people and clear it. That would be pretty cool. Like, so I'm interested in it all. Like, I have a feeling, like, clearing parasites and implants. Like, that would be cool. <laughs> do you want to be a healer? Is that what you want to do? You know, yeah, I wouldn't mind being able to, but I could obviously heal myself completely, but um, being able to see it in other people would be cool. Like just to, just they don't, a lot of people just un unaware of it, you know, and obviously if their higher self allows it, you can remove it, then they have more energy and you know, you know they can do, do things. Do, do you know, Ryan, this time last week, I would have said I've never had an implant, but on Tuesday whilst I was eat, having someone healing me, I asked her down my body took my own implant out. <laughs> Yeah, Which I must we, have, have caught we had one days. two after last week. <laughs> Each one of us, all three of us, had an implant. Well, you reckon it came from me? I don't know. Where gonna, it no, no, we don't know where it came from. We don't know. <laughs> but I actually, wow. came, I actually went out of my body and took one out of my arm 
So I took my own implant out, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I want to be able to do. So how do you do that? How do you heal yourself? Like, how do you get to that stage where you can do that? A lot of times, remote viewing, you can do it. And you yeah. do it with, with connected to your, your, yeah, your spirit that goes out of your body and does that. Like, oh, well, we've, got, it. we've got to go. I'm going to give you control. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank okay. you, Devin. No, Rick. no, oh, you're welcome. Yeah. You don't, go, you don't have to go. I'm just going to give um, yeah. control to Phil. Thank okay. you, everybody. I'll see you thank guys you. next. Thank week. you. Take it easy. If you want to, too, can.